as well because it's magic. I'm going to show you how that works, actually. Um, I've got the colours all lined up right here. I couldn't resist it, Mark, I'm sorry. Uh, because it is magic, I'm sure it is. So I've got the colours all lined up like so. You've got your magic pen, you take it down the centre, and you can see it changes the colours of the pen. So that brown's now green. The blue's now yellow. The purple has got a different hue to it, and you can see that going all the way through. It is magic but there's also a little bit of science behind there as well. And that's not going to affect the nib at the end of it. But there is so much that you can do with these pens. And you've also got a blaster and stencils as well. This is your blaster. Now this is going to allow you to take the pens, to take the color and then place it through the stencils so it's almost like using a mini spray tool. It really is incredible the different designs that you'll be able to create with this. Now the stencils that you get included in the bundle are going to give you lots of different shapes and lots of different patterns. I'll take you through some of them right here. So you can see you've got your rose on there, your love hearts, you've got your butterflies in there, your numbers which are always handy. Uh, you've got your snowflakes as well, but these could also be turned into mandala style designs. You've got some apple and pears there as well. If I turn that that way, you'll be able to see those right there. Your cherry, your apple and your pears. You've also got some really nice tropical designs here. As you can see you've got your palm tree there. You've got your different patterns to start making and building up your backgrounds. Love that skyline. Isn't that fantastic? Could be any skyline in the world. I do like that. Uh, you've got your shapes for your apertures and again for your designs, for your mixed media, your arrows and your stars. We've got more than that though. We've got more for you. Uh, how about a bit of dolphin swimming in the sea? Uh, you've got your speedboat there. You've also got your toucan. And if I can, too can. Uh, and your flowers as well. And we've got some more designs for you. This is superb value for money at £19.99. Saving £5, you can only get these pens from Rent Art here. Can't get them anywhere else. So two thirds of the stock has already gone. So that just shows you how busy we've been for these pens. Uh, 797 444 is your item number. Right, as promised, we've got some demonstrations for you. We've got the lovely Mark to show you. Mark, what are we going to see? Uh, hello, nice to see you again, Janice. It was quite interesting going on about the stencils there. I assumed, like I do, that the stencils were going to cost an extra five pound. Bear in mind there's 60 stencils in here, so I was really surprised yesterday when they were included in the bundle. I thought they were an extra, so that's fantastic. Now watch. Uh, how blended pens work, now you mentioned a bit of science there. Uh, it isn't rocket science, but you do rely a wee bit on gravity and time. So if I take a brown pen and a purple pen and you just twist them now, I'm holding them upright so I don't have it on its side. Uh, and what's happening now is my brown ink is drifting down over my purple pen and depending on how long I hold the pen depends on how much brown ink goes on the purple pen. Now you can use it on any type of paper, card, uh, MDF, excellent for things like decoupage uh, or paper mache crafting, so they're really fantastic pens. But as you can see here I've started with a brown pen and then as we colour down uh, you arrive back at the original colour, which is purple. So if you were using regular felt tips, even professional markers, that would take four or five pens anyway to get these blends, but I've done it with two. Now, the ink that's in the pens is water-soluble. Now, what that means, if you get it on your hands, clothes, work tops, then it's washable. So if you want to set this ink on uh, something like a ceramic or a, a wooden board or a tile, you go over it with some kind of lacquer to set it, and that's absolutely fine. I think, quite importantly, they have a three-year shelf life, so if you're not using them, they're not drying up in a hurry. Uh, so you could get them today while you can and have them for Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, whatever. And the nibs are nylon, so if anybody small gets a hold of them, they won't damage the pen, uh, which is important, but I think as important, uh, they're lovely to write with. So I'm going to take my blue pen and I'm now blending it with my yellow pen, so I'm adding blue ink to a yellow pen. So remember, when it goes on the paper, we've got that blue pen, so I'm now writing, but watch, even just scribbling there, you always get an effect, and the pen will always end up back at its original colour. 
Now, as you mentioned, Janice, today they come with a tool called a blaster. Now, I first saw the original prototype of this blaster over 30 years ago uh, in the big show in London, one of the big trade shows in London, and it was demonstrated by an artist who I'm ever so fond of, Tony Hart, from Vision On. So it was a foot pump at the time, so you pumped your foot and it blasted the air over the nib of the pen to give this airbrush effect. So we've now got it right down to a really easy level. So you just pump and what it does is pushes air over the nib of the pen. So now when you use it with stencils and as you quite rightly said, you're getting 60 stencils with a step, you can now start to, well you could be the next Banksy. Uh, you might be Banksy if you are. Uh, I apologise for my stenciling, right? And don't forget your magic pen. Now, the magic pen doesn't have any obvious colour to it. So if I write on my paper, there's no obvious anything going on there. But watch, when it hits the ink that's on the paper, what it does is brings out the corresponding colour. So my blue pen will go yellow, and it's almost like a luminous yellow. Uh, but watch this. So I now use my backdrops, remember my blends. So there is a palm tree. That's me when I was younger, standing under it. Some nice birds up above. And I'm having a wee look at a very interesting, slightly psychedelic sunset. So the magic pen is bringing out these secret colours. And because you're blending the pens, you get a blend of the secret colours. But uh, what everyone likes is secret messages. And have a look at that there, a wee secret wow for you. Also in your box set, you have a pen called a detail pen. Now, if you're doing any colouring uh, with pens, you always do an outline. So the detail pen is a pen that allows you to do your outlining. That's my mysterious eyes there. Right? Or just adding a wee bit of detail. Now, I was most surprised when I turned up yesterday and realised you'd included the stencils with the set. Uh, this set is absolutely exclusive now to Hokanda, Hochanda, right? So you can't get them anywhere but here, right? Now, remember, you get 10 pens, but that gives you 56 colours. The airbrush, the blaster, will work with other pens that will fit into it. And always remember to push the pen all the way down so the nib of the pen is over the nozzle, and then all you do is just squeeze. And bear this in mind, this is a proper airbrush. So if, uh, uh, you know, to get the perfect results, a little bit of practice with it, just squeeze and that will give you your airbrush effect. And you also get your 60 stencils today. Now, the stencils are card. So the lovely thing about them is you don't have to wipe them clean uh, every time you use them. Because they're card, they'll just absorb the ink. So now you can use them over and over and over and over and over again. So we're doing the whole set as an exclusive here today, and it's a great, great set of pens. Uh, right, Janice, how are you? Oh, <laughs> no, I've just... I've, <laughs> I've been playing with the blaster. I love this. I well can't done. believe it. It's so easy to use. And do you know what? This is going to allow you. That's my secret message, which has appeared through my blaster. Um, this is going to be excellent for you for building up backgrounds, everyone, to make those splatters. You know, you may have seen Leone, some of the other demonstrators taking a pen and then clicking that pen over um, sometimes their finger or over another pen to make that splatter. Now, with the blaster, with the pen inside and with just a little blast of air, you've got that particular design. Absolutely love that. And with the possibility of 56 different colours, when you start using the magic pen that's in there and, of course, blending the pens as well, well... It really is going to be an incredible journey that you take when you open up the pens. So, you've got 10 pens, which will allow you to blend perfectly, like uh, an expert colorist. These 10 pens will also allow you to create 56 different colors. You've got your magic pen in there as well, which can change the color of the pens, or of course, write a secret message, which is always fun, isn't it? It really is. And then you've got your detailed pen included. You've also got your blaster, which is brilliant. As soon as you start using this, you don't want to put it down. It's fantastic. And you've also got the stencils as well. I think Mark said there's 60 stencils included. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Treat yourself. 
have some fun. These are going to make you smile when you open these up. Uh, an incredible deal. Now, because we are in the midst of our spring savers deal, if you were to buy this today or when you buy this today, you will get a £5 credit put into your account and you'll be able to spend that tomorrow on a purchase of £30 or more. So really, if you look at it like that, the pens are only costing £15 because you're saving. Well, even less, yeah, it's a good deal. It is. But there is a saving on that £19.99 uh, or on the original price, £24.99. So uh, if you're thinking, right, I'm going to go for this, but I need some card. I need some paper stock. Then we've got some for you uh, from Pink Frog Crafts. And you do know that whenever we have anything from Pink Frog Crafts, it's going to be quality. Uh, this is 100 pieces of a4 drawing paper it's 150 gsm so that's going to be perfect for your sketching perfect for your doodling excellent for your pens as well because remember you can draw with your pens it's not all about coloring you can take your pens you could do some writing you could do some drawing with them as well and remember you can do that with 56 different colors when you've got the pens 515 377 is your item number if you want to go for your pink frog card or paper 150 gsm because of course paper grows up to card when it's about 170 gsm doesn't it uh right we've got some seven day savers for you um now watercolor card it's really important to get this right when you're using your watercolors because it will give you that perfect effect 300 gsm that is a really good gsm when it comes to watercolor uh, with watercolor sometimes you might want to add the water to the paper before you add your paints to get you that nice washed color that's something that i've been doing um, so this is going to be perfect for you 300 gsm a4 in size so you can cut this up if you want to it's a nice textured card as well 082 084 it's only 12 pounds and 60 pence it's a seven day deal uh saving six pounds are these deals ending tomorrow they are indeed yes because we launch new seven day savers on a sunday at seven o'clock no at eight o'clock at eight o'clock so you've got around about 12 hours to get hold of that uh we've got some more for you uh from pink frog crafts this is gorgeous you've got your ice gold paper and card now you get 50 sheets of the paper and 50 sheets of the card. Uh, the paper is 120 GSM and the card is 300 GSM. This is absolutely gorgeous and hopefully you can see, if I can tilt this in the light for you, you can see that gold, absolutely beautiful. Great for wedding invitations, great for special uh, invitations for a special occasion maybe an anniversary or something like that saving 12 pounds it's only 15 pounds it's a great deal and you get the paper and you get the card let me just get a sheet of the card because that's at the bottom of the pile as you can see just there so you've got that lovely card to work with as well maybe you could use the card for the outside and then the paper could be inside of the card if you want it so very very good there you go give it a bit of a wobble uh 15 pounds one seven one five zero five your item number excellent deal excellent deal uh we've got more seven day savers for you um now to do any kind of embossing or to make flowers and we've got the lovely martine coming in today from iCrafts so we're going to be making some fabulous flowers here's a great toolkit for you it's a great saving uh, saving eight pounds and you get two Do you get two sets wow uh, so you've got your ball tools in there and you've also got your embossing tools there so you've got your different size embossing tools and you've also got your reverse tweezers i like these uh, there you go that's what we mean by reverse tweezers and you've got that long nib there so it's very very easy to pick items up great if you're doing any kind of embossing because then you can pick the card up and you don't have to hold it you don't just get one you get two and they are in the wallets as well perfect so this could be one for you one for a friend great deal 17.99 is your item number for your seven day savers right do you want to see more blending do you want to see more magic well let's blend it with mark Thank you very much, thank you very much. So say all the pens will work together, so you can use the blue, the yellow, blue, the black, blue, the purple. And remember, all you do is put your two pens together that you want to blend and give them a wee twist. So my black pen is now touching my blue pen. 
Uh, I'm holding them upright a little bit of time. And when it goes on the paper now, you've swapped your colours over. But then as you colour down, you arrive back at the original colour. Now, I'm just doing some doodling here. Janice will show you in a wee bit some work that one of my friends, uh, Jana from the Czech Republic, done for me. Jana's an illustrator, and she really used the pens to, uh, very quickly, but to fabulous, uh, the possibilities are, are endless, right? Now, you can write with the pens. The ink is fantastic. It dries immediately. And remember, the ink's non-toxic, water-soluble. And the pens themselves are virtually odourless, which is important. So a lot of the time when you're working with pens, if it's a heavy alcohol pen, what you'll find is uh, they can really smell, right? They can be a very strong smell. So if you're working in an, uh, quite an enclosed area, uh, you can end up being slightly... My hands are too slighty. <laughs> Forgive me for this. Right, now watch. Take your pen and pop it into the blaster. And now, if you get yourself some stencils, now we give you 60 stencils to get you started. I particularly like this one. This is my cityscape. So have a wee look. Remember, this works with fresh air. So you don't plug it in. There's no batteries required. All you do is give it a wee pump. And what it does is pushes air over the nib of the pen to give you this fabulous airbrush effect. So now when you use it with stencils, and remember we include 60 stencils, but it is worth noting that uh, anything can become a stencil. So have a look at here. Tore up a bit of paper uh, yesterday, and this will be a nice hill. So I'll use one of my green pens here. Pop it in like so. And then just give this a wee squeeze. So stenciling is great fun. And as I always point out, it worked very well for the artist known as Banksy. Now, I know I'm not Banksy, but you might be watching. All right? Look at that from a wee hillock there. And also in your set, remember, you have a pen, which we call the magic pen. Now, if you look at my green pen, it's got a red top. The magic pen doesn't have any colour to it, so this is completely colourless. So when I use it, on the paper, nothing there at all. But when you use it over the ink that's already on the paper, what it does is bring out a secondary colour. Right? So because you're blending your pens, you can now use one pen to get multiple tones. See that there? Uh, nice wee messages, secret messages. And also in your set today, you have a pen uh, for doing your outlining, your detail work. And obviously that's called your detail pen. Now, the detail pen is a black marker. It's got a great nib on it, fabulous for writing with. By the way, that magic pen has got a netch nib. So if you like your calligraphy, it's great for that. So have a wee look at that there. So that's for doing your outlining. And we're doing the whole set today. You get your pens, you get your stencils, and you get your airbrush. They come with a great set of instructions, but if you're allowed to watch YouTube, if you put blended pens into YouTube, uh, what it does is shows you different demonstrations uh, on there online. But that's your instructions there, so you get a great instruction leaflet. Shows you exactly how to use a blaster as well. And remember, all the pens work together. So the amount of blends you get, that's only a few of them there. Uh, just mix and matching your pens. Uh, we're doing the set today as an exclusive to Ho Hochanda, Hochanda uh, and I hope you take advantage of it. Remember, they have a three-year shelf life, so they don't dry up like regular pens. You have to physically use them up, and they take some amount of using. Janice, what do you think? Oh, Mark, I am... <laughs> I can't, can't stop. But I've just created a background. Look at that. I've used the blaster with the different pens then I've used the magic pen to go over where I've blasted so that's changed the color again then I've used the black marker so there you go just made a background and then maybe I could chop that up cut into that and I've also used that gorgeous gold card can you see that so it works perfectly on that pearlescent card I like that. I do. Um, these are incredible. You're going to enjoy using them at home. The kids are going to enjoy using them as well because it's something extra special. Now, let me show you some of that artwork um, where the pens have been used. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, let's take a look at this one. So using uh, the sketching, 
I think that looks like some bamboo. Very nice. And you can see the pens have been used to, to write in there, but also the blasty pens have been used to create that lovely background. I love that. Absolutely love that. Now, if you are an artist and you're drawing yourself, or if you've got stamps, using them to blend those colours perfectly will get you excellent results each and every time. So you can see the blend of that colour running all the way through, going down to the green. No definite lines in there. That's what we want. That's what we want when we are putting together the artwork, either using the stencils or using stamps. Isn't that fun? It's fun, it's funky, and when you're using the magic pen as well to go over, then you can change the colour. So maybe this gentleman's trousers need to be spotty, then you can use the magic pen to add those spots and it's going to change the colour each and every time. Making beautiful hues, using the stencils as well with that blaster and having fun having fun that's what it's all about and I, I can I actually can guarantee I will say that that when you start and open these up you'll have a blast you really will um, I've just been playing with the pens you really will because you have the blaster uh, just creating a background there it only took me seconds to do that using the pens as well showing you the different colors but taking that magic pen through the center and let's do it again let's take that there I'll hold it up quite still for you and then we've got the yellow there, but the magic pen, when it goes through all the different colours, you'll see it changes each and every time. So the brown's now the green, you've got the yellow in the blue, you've got that pink in the purple, and all the way through changing the colour. So have fun with these. Write those secret messages as well as I did just down here, as you can see. Good morning! And all we did was took the blaster, blast, 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 blast. Good morning with the sun there. Uh, and good morning to you as well. If you have just joined us on Hochanda, it's great to have you company. Um, we've been busy for our blendy pens. You can only get them here, by the way, on Hochanda. 70% um, of the stock has already gone. Very, very busy this morning. Um, they're great fun. 10 pens, dual nibbed. And with the 10 pens that you get, you can, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten uh, you've got your magic pen you've got your marker and then you've got the dual nib pen so you can take off there that's one and you pop it back in there and you take off that and there's two and you pop it back in there so you've got them all at hand but you can create 56 different colors with those pens 56 different colors and you can also blend perfectly 19.99 saving five pounds it's a great deal and if you buy from us this morning you'll get a five pound credit. It's all part of our spring savers. And if you do, that five pound credit will go into your account tonight and you'll be able to spend it tomorrow on a purchase of 30 pounds or more. So it's a great deal. So you're saving five pounds on the 24.99, but you'll also get your five pound credit going to your account tonight. And that's one purchase per day. So if you want to get your five pound credit, this could be the show for you. 19.99 gets you your pens and you also get 60 of the stencils. You get that blaster which is fabulous. I'm going to keep playing with that now. Um, 794444 is your item number. I do like these, Mark. They're great fun, aren't they? The gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. Now, remember, they're for any age group, so from 3 to 103. Uh, and depending on where you are, you show Jana's artwork off there. She's a, a professional illustrator, and I kind of put her under the cosh a wee bit last week because I thought I should come with some artwork which is more than just my doodling. So she quickly put those together and I thought it was fabulous. Now remember, you can still blend your pens and use your blaster. So here's one that I did earlier, right? So that's how I did this here, my pyramids, is I had two, well, one bit of A4, which I halved in two. So there is my pyramids there. And I'll use my cityscape uh, just to build up my picture. You're right, it could be any city, anywhere. And pop my pen in. So I've added brown ink to my purple pen. So when it goes on the paper now, it will start brown. But then you can see the purple starting to come through there. Now remember, the ink itself is water-soluble. 
Uh, so if you get it on your hands, clothes, work tops, they wash. I think more importantly, uh, they have a three-year shelf life. And the nibs themselves are nylon. So if anyone is a bit heavy-handed in the family, uh, they won't damage the nib. That's why they're pens literally for all ages. Uh, you can mix and match all the different colours. So my blue can go with the black, can go with the yellow, can go with the green, can go with the red. And all you do is pop it on the paper. And if you want to do a nice sunset. Now remember, this is a yellow pen. And then as you're colouring down, so this is doing your colouring and you arrive back at your yellow pen. So you're essentially cleaning the nib up. Now if I was to do that with regular pens, what you'd find is you've got your blue and then you've got traces of green coming through there, blue and yellow, and then you arrive back at your original colour. So you're blending uh, from one pen to the next. Now, the nibs, remember, are nylon, uh, and you can get a lovely thick line or a fine line with them, depending on what kind of colouring you're doing. I think something that's quite important is if you have these uh, colouring in books, what you'll find is that ink doesn't go through the pages, right? So uh, the problem you have with some alcohol-based pens is they're so strong they'll just bleed right through the paper. But I can use my pens on 80 GSM, I can use it on 140, 200, 300, uh, and the ink won't bleed through. So remember, you can get a lovely thick or a very fine line with them. But as you're colouring in, you always end up back at your original colour. So we started with our black and we ended up back at our green there. Now, today they come with a blaster and the blaster is my airbrush. Right? Now I first seen this many many years ago, a big show in London and it was called the Jet Snake and what it was was a foot pump like you'd blow up a Lido, uh, a Lilo, not a Lido, that would be wrong. Uh, and as you pump it, it pumps air over the nib of the pen to give you your airbrush effect. So now we've simplified it down. By the way, that was getting demonstrated by Tony Hart uh, from Vision On, and he was a, a big, big hero of mine, Tony Hart, absolute fantastic artist. So now when you use this with stencils, now remember, anything can be a stencil. There's my pyramids there, just with a bit of paper. But you get 60 stencils to get you going, right? So don't forget, you could be the next Banksy, and it worked very well for him stenciling. And Banksy, if you're watching, there's a wee pore poison. Everyone needs a pore poison in their life, so I've given you one there. Also, in your set, you have a pen called a magic pen. Now, the magic pen is essentially a colour changer. So these pens have all got a dual pigment. So as well as being able to blend them, remember this was a yellow pen and added blue ink to it. And then as you're colouring down, you arrive back at the original colour. So the blending is fantastic. But in each pen, you have two colours. So my black pen will go purple. But my uh, red pen goes yellow, blue pen goes like a luminous yellow. So when you use this pen on the paper, there's no obvious colour to it at all until such times that it hits the ink that's on the paper. And it brings out these hidden colours. And because you're blending your pen, you've now got one pen that gives you multiple tones, right? Which is absolutely fantastic. But uh, what my grandson has always loved about these pens, uh, and Jamie loves his blendy pens, is they are great for doing secret messages. And look at that, how cool is that? So you blend your pens, you colour change, you stencil, secret messages all out the one set. Now the pens are absolutely exclusive to uh, Hokanda. I think I say that differently every time I say it. So somebody will... Because uh, uh, of uh, Hochanda, uh, <laughs> which is also good. And here's one other wee tip for you. When you have your pens on the paper, once you've got your colours there, it is worth noting that uh, the colour changing facility is there for weeks, months, years. So this here, this colour chart here, I done about two weeks ago when I knew I was coming down uh, to show the pens off. So this ink is well dry but it's still absolutely active. Hopefully you can see that. So these are just a few samples of my blends. And you can see that the ink just stays active. Uh, so you can be changing one of your pictures. It can be ongoing process, uh, continually changing your 
uh, pens. So we do our pen set today. You get your 10 pens, but remember that gives you 56 different colours. Uh, water soluble, so if you get it on your hands or clothes, they wash. Non-toxic, odourless, so they're fine for kids of any age from 3 to 103. We pop in your blaster, and this is essential for building up your pictures. So if you like decoupage, if you're doing any uh, uh, colouring over wood, MDF, uh, paper mache, which is fabulous, right? Or what my granddaughter was doing uh, when we had some nice weather midweek is she was colouring pebbles using it. Uh, so she had all these lovely big pebbles and she was using the blaster and the blended pens for colouring that. All you then do, because remember the pens are water soluble, if you want to set the ink on something that's uh, uh, not paper, you would use some kind of varnish, uh, in the old days we'd say, hair lacquer will work, right, so that will set the ink, right. So you get your pens, we pop in 60 stencils to keep you busy, you can mix and match all your stencils, remember they're made of card, so these aren't vinyl, they're not plastic, so you don't have to wipe them clean every time you use them. Uh, the card will absorb your ink, uh, and we include the Blaster airbrush system. Don't forget, this will work with other pens if they will fit inside it. And to be fair, this will never run out. It's fresh air. Well, if it does, we're all in trouble, right, because that's a fresh air pump, right? No batteries. Uh, you don't plug it in. You can literally take it anywhere. And we're doing the whole set as an exclusive to Hoshanda today. Hoshanda. Right, okay. Mark. Um, <laughs> you know what? I absolutely adore these, and as Mark is demonstrating, um, I've been playing as well. So uh, I've got a bird, um, and I've drawn. <laughs> yeah, I have got a bird. Um, so I've got the flower. Did the flower in green, but took the magic pen, and then it became a really nice coral colour in the middle. Uh, took the yellow, put the magic pen on there, and then we got that lovely coral colour. And I've got a little bit of sky going on there, but of course, because it's a sunny day. I need the sunshine, so we'll put a little bit of sunshine in the middle, just using the magic pen, turning the blue into yellow. So if you don't have a yellow pen, and let's face it, putting yellow on the top of blue, well, that's going to turn it green, and who wants a green sun? Now I've taken the magic pen, and I've got that perfect sun in the blue sky. These are incredible. I love these. I really do. And I know you're going to love them too. You've also got the stencils and the blaster as well. And you're going to have a blast with the blaster. Where's my little background? There you go. I love these. Um, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm well chuffed with myself this morning. And it's only half past seven. It's only half past seven. If you want to be chuffed with yourself, uh, pop these into your basket and check on out, 797-444. Now, if you are a Freedom member, you don't pay any P&P &P on any of the products you buy from us here at Hochanda. And to tell you a little bit more about becoming a Freedom member, here's our lovely Alex. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, of sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. 
I'm sorry with that. I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. Uh, right, if you have just joined us, uh, welcome to Her Chanda. Uh, my name is Janice. We've got a lovely new guest for us, Mark. He's an old friend of mine. Uh, could be an old friend of yours as well. Um, now, Rent Art, this is the o Rent Art, this is the only place you can get these pens at the moment. And that's why we are super, super busy. £19.99 pence, saving £5 on this deal. What are you getting? My word. Okay, let's start with your eight pens which are jewel nibbed in the kit okay there's more but let's start with your eight pens in the kit jewel nibbed so you take them off and you'll see that that is going to give you the color black but there's also a purple on the top that's because you can change that color with your magic pen you can also create 56 different colors 56 different colors from the pens I have right here in my hands it's an incredible deal then you've got your liner to take and do your detailing so all your detailing in there and that is your black pen you can also write some secret messages as well with your magic pen and then go over with your different colors now on top of that because this is Ho Chanda to get you an excellent deal you have got your blaster this is fabulous. You take your pen, you place it into the nib, and then with a woof of air, no batteries required, you can then create some amazing backgrounds and also detailing on your artwork, just to show you some of that there. Absolutely incredible. Now, you also get your stencils, 60 stencils included. Let's take you through the designs that you have. Let me just take that there and grab the other ones. I'll place them under there for you. There you go. So, something for everyone, I think. Uh, you've got your dolphin or your porpoise. You've got your speedboats in there. You've got your toucans. You've got a really nice tropical feel. You've got your aviator style there, your whooshes. Uh, you've also got your dancers right there. Someone would say a little bit dirty uh, but always in the best respect you've got your butterflies you've got your love hearts you've got your roses you've got your snowflakes that also can be the center of a mandala you've got your apples and pears if we turn the other way around your cherries and you've also got your numbers in there as well turning that around uh, let me show you this one there you go. Uh, you've got your cityscape. I do like that. It could be any city in the world. You've got your different shapes to build and create your background. So 60 stencils in total. You've also got your palm trees in there as well. This is how the stencils come. Very, very easy. All you have to do is just push them out and then you can start to create with your stencils, but also maybe keep the bits that you push out as well and use those in your crafty projects. Saving five pounds, it's an excellent deal. You also get your instructions as well on how to use the stencils correctly and on how to use the pens and the blaster. 19 pounds and 99 pence, saving five pounds. And remember, if you're buying this today, your first purchase of the day here on Hochanda, you'll get a five pound credit in your account, spend tomorrow on a purchase of 30 pounds or more. Right, I'm going to play a little bit more, but I'm going to hand you over to Mark for some demonstrations. I've been involved with pens for nearly 30 years and I've come into the show and Janice is knocking me for six Not with her all, artwork, Mark. knocking me out of the park. Uh, <laughs> Janice, well done. Listen, remember, you can use them as regular pens, so we don't have to blend the, uh, the pens, We don't because the yellows are really beautiful sunshine yellow, gorgeous blue, and all you do remember to get them to blend is you pop two pens together like so, give them a wee twist, so my blue pen is now sitting on top of my yellow pen, so I'm adding blue ink to the yellow pen, now please, please, please don't do this with any regular marker pens uh, that you've already got in the house or you will ruin them, these are designed for this, the ink is very special, the nibs are extra special, so when it goes on the paper now, oh, this is a, I think this is a 200 GSM paper. I can tell I'm working on slightly different paper. Uh, great for card work, this. But all you do is you start and you arrive back at your original colour. So you get this lovely derogation. So we started with blue, we end up down at yellow. Now, with your stencils, you get border stencils anywhere, border stencils. So you have stencils which allow you to do your borders anyway. Uh, but if you want to jazz up your jotters, I don't know if we get jotters anymore. Uh, you can do your own borders using the pens. Let's have a look. There's my brown and purple. Purple and blue is a lovely mix, right? 
I just love that purple there. Uh, and let's see what other colours we've got here. We'll add a wee bit of uh, green to red. So all the pens can mix and match together. Now remember the nibs on nylon, they're lovely to write with. Now that I'm a lovely writer, I seem to do everything upside down. But remember, you always end up back at your original colour. Now I think that's a great wee effect there. Just my squiggly lines, just a bit of doodling, but you're getting this almost 3D effect. Now, don't forget you have your magic pen in there. The magic pen itself doesn't have any obvious colour to it. Uh, good pen for writing checks with, right? Have a look at this here. So I'll use that. But when you use it over the ink that's on the paper, what it does is brings out all your secret colours. So your yellow pen will go red. It's got a red top to it. Uh, your blue pen, it's almost like a luminous yellow. So you bring out these hidden colours. Right. Or if I use my pen, and what I'll do is I'll use my blaster. And I've already forgot where I've done my secret message, but we'll soon find it. Look at that there. Now the detail pen, uh, there's a pen in the set which is a, a, a black pen, right? And that's for doing your outlining. And if I can illustrate it with uh, Mrs. McCain's artwork here, if you can see that. We've used the Cityscape stencil, not me. Uh, Andrea's used the Cityscape stencil there. And then she's outlined it using a detail pen. Added in some hills there. These are wee poppies. Hopefully you can see that. Your sun and your skyline. Uh, Andrea, if you're watching, you should be here. Now watch this. So this pen here is ideal for just adding all your extra detail work. So with my borders there, all right, just adding a wee bit of kind of 3D writing here. And remember, uh, everything's included in the set. Now, we've got 10 pens in the set, but with those 10 pens, what you can do is you can create 56 different colours, right? So you've got, got one of my colour charts somewhere. You've got all your different colour charts there. And then, don't forget, the ink is always active. So you can go over your uh, uh, stenciling or your artwork at a later date. And if you want to add a, a little bit of detail work, that ink is still active. I've done these blends uh, two or three weeks ago, but they're still lovely and active. Uh, 56 different colours out of one set of pens. The pens have got a three-year shelf life, so if you do like the idea of them, and maybe thinking of them as a gift, you could get them today at an exclusive price today, the whole set, stencils, pen and airbrush, and you could put them away and give them to someone next Christmas, next Easter. Uh, they make a fabulous wedding gift, certainly an unusual wedding gift, uh, but then the bride can do their own uh, we table cards. So you get your pens today, we pop in 60 stencils to get you going with stenciling, but don't forget anything can be a stencil, a doily, a piece of string, a leaf. Uh, Andrea's card, which Janice was showing there, she used a twigs, right, to do the card work there, so anything can be a, a, a stencil. And also you get your blaster as well. Uh, the blaster normally sells on its own at 5 99 Remember that can, uh, you can use that with any type of pen, as long as it will fit into it, so any type of felt tip, soft nib pen. And uh, the whole set is exclusive today to Hoshanda. Yes, Hoshanda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are so much fun, they really are. Uh, and again, watching demonstrations, I'm having a play. Uh, creating backgrounds, superb, especially with the blaster as well. Yeah, drawn a little robot in green, but we need some eyes, so I'm going to use the magic pen. Those eyes now become yellow. A little bit of a smile on there as well. Uh, we've got a bit of a body, so we could have a little bit of a screen on there. That's now red because that's a different green that I've used, but with the magic pen. So you've got all these different elements to start working with and to start playing with as well. I do like that beautiful bright yellow going over the different colours. And of course you can use that magic marker then 
mask even when you've used the blaster because it will change the colors for you so you can have a lot of fun with these um, great for the kids but also great for you as artists as well and colorists now we're at 80 percent of the stock already gone i absolutely love these you know when you see things it just makes you really excited you just want to play with everything that you can see well that's what we've been doing right here it's a superb deal and remember that blaster can be used with any soft nib pen as well and that really will change the way that you create your background 797444 is your item number your 60 stencils your blaster and your pens you can only get them here on Hochander everyone uh, so don't be disappointed don't miss out on the fun get these in the post to you and start creating 797444 now we do have some paper and some card for you on the show so let's go and take a look at that because you might want to add that to your basket as well it's from pink frog crafts yes you get a hundred sheets of a4 paper it's 150 gsm and it's going to be perfect for drawing on uh great for stamping on as well but drawing in particular so excellent quality paper you can cut this up of course you can use this in different sizes as well so if you're doing your doodling if you're doing your sketching absolutely perfect great price as well 9.99515377 is your item number those are um, your deals this morning you can also go and see more online as well let's have a look at the time we've still got time to head back to mark we've got more demonstrations but don't delay getting those pens into your basket. Remember, do check out. They're not yours until you've checked out. Right, Mark, what can we see now? Right, have a wee look. Uh, a bit of paper just torn. Uh, watch this. I'm going to use this as like a hillock. Uh, I think that's a word. So remember, you can still use the blaster and your blender pens. So I'm now mixing my colours. And I'll pop this into the blaster. The pens themselves are water soluble, so if you get the ink on your hands or clothes, they wash. I think more importantly, they have a three year shelf life, so they don't dry up like regular pens. Uh, so you can buy them put away for gifts for any occasion, really. And the nibs are nylon, so they're very, very robust. Uh, uh, so if anybody very small gets a hold of them, they won't damage the pen nib, which is great, right? Uh, have a wee look there. There's my nice little mountainside there. Uh, remember, to get them to blend, all you do is pick any two pens that you want to blend together and give them a wee twist. Now, we've got arrows on here, and they come with a great set of instructions. But if you go onto YouTube, there's lots of demonstrations for my blending pens on YouTube as well. Now, this set here is exclusive to Hoshanda, right? Uh, so... This is the only set of blending pens that comes with the blaster, comes with the stencil, and remember it actually changes colour as well. Uh, use them for doing your placemats. So don't forget, this is actually a green pen. And then as you're colouring, you arrive back at the original colour. So what you're doing is you're adding one colour to it and then blending through until you arrive back at the original colour. And you can do that with any of the pens. Nah. So if I take, I like my blue and yellow because you can actually see the blue ink drifting over the yellow pen. Blue and purple, blue and black. So for my wee sunset. Just see it. Blend the pens. Absolutely fantastic. And for any age, right? Take your pen, pop it into your blaster. So you've done your blend. Now let's see. I'll do a nice wee flutter by, or you'd maybe call it a butterfly. As I always point out, this worked very well for an artist called Banksy and other artists. Stenciling's really, really popular. So we give you 60 stencils to get you going, which is plenty. Now you don't plug the blaster in. Uh, what's the science behind the blaster? You just blast it, give it a wee squeeze, and it pumps ink over the nib of the pen. So there's my wee butterfly there. And also in your pen set, you have your pen called a magic pen. Now, the magic pen doesn't have any colour to it. So if I write with this, nothing there. But when it hits the ink that's on the paper, what it does, if you look here, is it brings out secret colours. 
All right. So there's my nice wee butterfly over my lines here. And there's my palm tree, the seagulls. Or you use that one for doing secret messages. And that really is magic. <coughs> well, that could be McGill, if you can remember Man in a Suitcase. Uh, but that is going back quite a bit. Right. Now, the set is exclusive today to Hoshanda, right? Uh, so there's nowhere else you can buy these pens. We don't have them online. We don't have their website. We've, we've kept it purely for this uh, station, and it's fantastic. Don't forget, you get 10 pens, but those 10 pens will give you 56 different colours. Uh, so you just use them over and over and over again, and they will always revert back to their original colour, so you'll never stain the nib. You get your magic pen, and I've been using the same magic pen. Uh, this is my third show with it. And if you look at the nib, if you can see that, it's still lovely and clean, so you never tarnish the nib on your magic pen, so it won't transfer colour. Uh, you get a black pen, which is your detail pen. Included, which I was surprised at, is my stencil pack. I only sell the stencils for £5 on their own. There's 60 stencils there. You can use them over and over again. They're card, so they absorb the ink. And then the blaster. Now, the blaster works with fresh air, so you don't plug it in, there's no battery, so it's safe for anyone to use, and you can use it absolutely anywhere. Uh, they come with a great set of instructions, shows you how to use your pens, but practice always makes perfect. And there, your blaster as well, exclusive to Hoshanda. Um, I've got to tell you something now, though. Oh, my goodness, we're limited stock. Limited stock, everyone. I've done some more artwork. I can't help it. I can't help myself. Uh, right, I'm going to use the magic pen uh, to change the colour of my toadstool and change the colour of my brown tree. Trees are only brown in the autumn, aren't they? But this is summertime, so we'll take the magic pen and we'll just simply change the colour of that and make it a nice bright tree because the seasons are changing right in front of us. You try doing that with regular pens, well, it's not going to happen, is it? Uh, and then we need sunshine in the sky, so the same magic pen, but then creating a sunshine. Oh, the toadstool over here. Oh, we'll change the colour of that because we know that toadstools can be all kinds of different colours using the same magic marker, just going from one to the other. And then we've got some lovely flowers there. We'll change that to yellow or a bit of brown grass. Don't want a bit of brown grass, do you? So we'll go over that. We'll just change the colour instantly. Oh, my word, you're going to have so much fun. This is a superb deal. It really, really is. But we're limited stock. £19.99, pence. Seven nine seven four four four. I've had so much fun. Uh, Mark, have you enjoyed yourself today? Yes, I have. Here? Thank you ever so much. And uh, you're heading back up to Glasgow today, aren't you? I will be heading up now, presently. Uh, hopefully the roads will be nice and quiet for me. I'm sure they will. And of course, when you get there, you can continue celebrating Celtic winning the league. Oh, well, cheeky, but yes, I can. <laughs> Thank you for Even that. Even it's slightly artificial. Uh, uh, no, I don't mean that. But of well, course, we've got, we've got uh, something in common with our Brendan Rogers. You can Rogers. continue to enjoy Brendan yes. at your team, and uh, we will continue to enjoy Neil Lennon at ours. There you go. Well, we've, we've done a little swap, but, you know, I love, I love Neil Lennon. He's, uh, he's a true hero of mine, so you're welcome to him. Uh, and Mark, thank you so much. It's lovely to see you again and hope to see you very soon. Uh, thank guys, you. you do need to check out your baskets, though. With it being limited stock, it means we've only got a handful left. You do need to check out your baskets to make sure you get what you want. So, only available right here at Hochanda, but with limited stock. 797-444, saving £5 on this deal. Remember, if you are purchasing these today, you can get your £5 credit back to spend tomorrow on a purchase of £30 or more. So you are saving, saving, saving. Uh, head to the website and have a look at all the products we've got on the show, including the drawing paper and the card and the seven-day savers. Remember, we're changing those tomorrow so if you like the look of the seven day savers you might want to add those to your basket uh, so from myself and mark have a great day do stay where you are because we've got plenty more coming up for you on hochanda including your one day special check out your baskets everyone i'm gonna go and pay with my plenty <laughs> Coming up now, we've got the one day special with Clayna Palmer. Can't wait for that. Uh, Spring Savers with Stamps Away after that. And then Fabric Freedom, Fabric Street. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light 
been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On each of the shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Be Crafty shows on, on a chanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family well a very good morning to you i thought as we're talking all medals i would bring my own medal in yes this was my morris dancing championship medal from 1984 
I know. Who would have thought it? I had all the bells, the hankies. I was there. Here I was, dancing around that maypole. The best thing was I wasn't born till 85, but I don't know how I won it. I think it, I think it was just give it to him. Just give it to him. Uh, do you like the medals though? I've got many more. I've got many more. Oh, I bought in my own collection. Look of rosettes. Oh, look, I could wear, I would have, I could have wore these as a badge. Look at this. Look, so I was an uh, Olympic champion from 1946. Uh, that's when we did the pancake toss. They took it out of the Olympics now. I was reserve champion. Uh, now, this one was a very special rosette for myself because I was reserve champion on the trampoline. Oh, yes, but you'll never guess who won on the trampoline. Ah, uh, Derek. Ah, uh, Derek won. He was, uh, he only had one of them kids one, so he could get a lot higher than me. Because he was only little, he had the bar to hold on to. Bless him. Uh, then you got the first, second and third as well. How, first of all, good morning. How are you, viewer? Are you all right? Did you have a good weekend? Well, we are in the weekend. I've already had my weekend, my weekend. We've got, have you had a good week so far? Yeah? Same again? Same with me, innit? I'm sick of a cooked breakfast. The bins have been out more than me the last couple of weeks. Oh, they go out every week. I go nowhere. How realistic do these look? How, oh, I'll, I'll say that. How realistic? Very, very realistic. Uh, now, normally you'd find these on the fronts of cards. You would find them at championships. Like I just said, we were talking about gymnastics. We were talking about uh, dress size, those sorts of things. Morris dancing. They should, they should bring it back, the Grand Prix. Now, but rosettes, you would look at them. Like this is the first thing I said this morning when we, uh, when we were speaking. Uh, to our cleaner. I've not even said our cleaner's here and all. Oh, she's here. Morning, my love. Hello. Are you all right? I'm great, thank you. The yeah. uh, other side of the studio she is. Uh, she's the other side. If I do that lot, there she is, look. <laughs> Just there. <laughs> Just up here. Uh, she's in the studio as well, so we're going to demo. We're going to demo like the wind is what we're going to do. Uh, but when you look at a rosette and when you look at medals like these, do you think what well, I thought? And I thought, I could never make them. Never make them. They look, one, they look really difficult. Two, I'm never going to make it look as good as that. Look how real, look how realistic they look. They're rigid. They're solid. They literally look. Look at the quality that you're getting on them as well. But you can do this. You can make these as well. Now, the details are on the side of the screen. The one day special. This is your one day special that you're currently looking at, and it's been extremely busy. Over fifty percent of the stock has now already gone. What are you getting? You're currently looking at your rosette die. So you're getting everything you need to make a rosette. Don't even get me started on what else you can use these for. We will get onto during the hour as well. You get the rosettes, then you get the centers. Now, when I say the centers, I mean things like, uh, like these, like the number ones that you can get. Uh, also, sort of the centers of your rosette. So you've got the number ones again. Uh, you've also got... Uh, the outer edges that we'll look onto in a minute, but you things like like birthday girl in there. Uh, look at these. How expensive are these to buy? Normally, if you're doing a little badge, if you're doing a badge for for a little girl or a little boy, very, very expensive to buy. Also, as well though, you've also got your medals in there. So your outer edge of your medals. Now, when you look at your medals, don't just think metal. These are now frames. These are now apertures. These are now backgrounds. These could be the centre of a clock if you wanted to create a clock as well. These could be the centres of a shaker card if you wanted them to be. These could be in your mixed medias. These could be wreaths if you want them to be as well. Snip into them and you could just use the champion. Just use the sentiments. These could be snow globes that Christmas, put a base on them, put a little snowman on the inside. These could be snow globes as well. Very, very versatile, and there is a lot of things you can do with them. Now, uh, well at the moment, look at the rosette you're looking at at the moment. Now, this rosette that you're currently looking at has... I was trying to be careful on my mic. Uh, <laughs> has a thing for the sheer fact, one, it's on both sides, but it's a fairy wand. Oh, here I am. I'm in, I'm in my element now. Um, I could be in Panto, couldn't I? Snow White and the Seven. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I've got a dwarf, Derek. Derek can be grumpy. Oh, kind of. He's only, he's only small. Ah, uh, Derek. Why do you think we have all these boxes lying around here so Derek can stand on? Um, bless him. Bless him. He comes in a little toy car now. 
I can only say this. I only spoke to him yesterday, bless him. Uh, but yes, you've got your fairy ones that are here as well. Uh, you've also got your box frames that we can look at. So you've got things like, <laughs> things like these. They mock me every time I say a box frame because I'm a big fan of a box frame. And there's quite a few on set as well. Um, there is so much you can do when you get these home. And you can also, I'm just going to throw it in now, you can also make to sell. Now, when I say make to sell, you could make these for school fates. You could make these for sports days. You could make these for birthday parties. Imagine doing birthday parties and doing races, but everyone walks away with a badge. Obviously, everyone would walk away with this badge at a birthday party. Otherwise, you're not going to get many friends if you're walking away with third. Uh, so everyone would walk away with a winner's badge. But how realistic do these badges look? You can sell these. You imagine having a stand, and these are on your stand. You've got everything on them. You could personalise them. Maybe you've already got dies at home as well that everyone loves. You can now personalise everything that you want to do with your rosettes. £29.99 across two flexible payments. But remember, it's spring savers. Now, spring savers, if you spend anything you buy today, bear with me on this, it took me a while to get my head around. <laughs> anything you buy today, anything, will give you a £5 credit for tomorrow. Now, you can use that £5 credit tomorrow on anything over £30. So if you bought yesterday, OK, so if you bought yesterday with our Yanis or uh, Hayley or Paola, and you got that £5 credit in your bag, it's automatically done for you. We do all the hard work, so you haven't got to. Um, Janice is doing them now, currently put them in your bank. But um, what we'll do then is you can now take that off. So if you, if you buy this outright today... OK, so maybe you don't want the flexible payments. If you bought this outright today, £59.97, and we'd take a fiver off that price. But if, I, if it was me, I would use Flexi. OK, so I would use the flexible payments of £29.99. and Hold on to my £5. Hold on to it. And then I would use that later on today, if it was me, on anything else that's over 30 quid. You see? Because then you're not, it looks like you're spending 60, in theory you're not, you're only spending 55, but then you've bought two amazing products. It's worth doing and have a little think about, let, let me poke a project where you don't want to poke some projects, I'm not here for that. Your item number though for your one day special, we are extremely busy this morning, I knew we would be, uh, 428672 is your item number for your one day special. These are brand new, we've got live demonstrations as well. If there is a demonstration you're thinking, could they do this? Could I cut them out of this? Email me in, studio at shannon.com. We're live. We've got Kane in the studio as well. We've got guests in the studio. We're keeping our distance. Do not fear. She's miles away. Uh, but if there is a question you want to know the answer, you'll only know it if you ask the question. So email in. Meg's waiting for you now, our little producer. We've got Jimmy there as well directing. We've got Kirsty on the floor. Uh, she's, well, Kirsty, see ya. Uh, we've got Tech in as well. We've got our little Andrew play, playing with his knobs. Giving him a twist, giving him a pull, giving him a poke. I don't really know what he does, bro. He's there. Um, he's crucial. He does everything. Uh, but if you want something that compliments your one-day special, we're all very busy. Even Kirsty stands there for the hour, but I'm sure she's busy. Uh, something that compliments the one-day special as well. <laughs> she knows I love her, really. Uh, oh, look who's just walked in. D Dame. That should be Dame Ali Reed. Dame Ali's in. She has got some amazing stuff next. Uh, we've all been talking about them. Uh, but now, something that complements your one day special are these. Now, you might want to go for this as well. It's two flexible payments, £24.99. and pence. Now, these are your sentiments. These are the things that you're going to put into the centre. But what I like about these, you've got your innies and your outies, as it were. Do you remember when we used to do bubble right? No, we learned to bubble right. You do the writing small in the middle, then you make it larger on the outside. This more or less does that for you. So you've got the bubble writing, as you can see. So you've got grand in there. So we could have things like uh, grandmother, grandfather, um, aunts, uncles, cousin in there as well. Uh, you've also got mom, dad, sister, brother, daughter son and you've also got the and in there as well which i like because then you can really go to town with it and you can see some some of the finished sample cards that we've used this is using the metal outer edge with the grand on the inside you see what we've done now so you can sort of mix and match 
very grand aunt. Ooh, she must live in a manor. Uh, but then you've got things like this. So you can use them everything you want as well. So you can mix and match them. You can have number one aunt. So from your one day special, you could take number one from here and then have aunt on the top of that as well. They all mix and match perfectly. You know they're all going to work. And there is so many things you can do once you get them home. Just use them as your sentiments. I'm loving the font on them as well. It's a modern, stylish font. It's not font that's unlegible. You can read every single word that is on here. Now imagine using these for wedding cards. Imagine using these for your daughter's birthday cards. And then you're also getting this as well. As well as the... Ba we've not even spoke about the banners that you're getting on there as well. So you're also getting the banners. So now you can start creating the beautiful banners on there. The sentiments. The sentiments that you've got. You're thinking, Adam, I've got, I haven't got any sentiments. Hold on, Brenda. Watch this. We've also got sentiments for you as well. Family sentiments. You're the best in the world, as it were. I'm so proud of you. Uh, In-law, step, get well soon. Um, for the sweet... Oh, for the sweetest. For my favourite. Oh, you're so special. Now, it all depends on how you say that, isn't it? Well, a lot of, a lot of people say that to our Jimmy when he's walking around the office. Oh, Jimmy, you're so special. I think I'll, he's got a lot of lovers, uh, Jimmy, but that's another story. Uh, I'll always be here for you. Uh, you are loved in so... In, oh, you are loved so very much. That's, I, I, like, I like these. I, I'm absolutely in these. Uh, to the greatest, most fantastic, and all we need to add is presenter on the end of there, and uh, send it Janice's way. Uh, you are awesome, and don't forget it. Some amazing words in there that you wouldn't have, that I've not seen on any stamps before either. Uh, £24.98 and pence across two flexible payments today, and that will get you all these sentiments. Maybe you only want the sentiments, maybe you only want this bundle. You're getting 29 dies and 22 stamps in total there for £49.96. 559972 is your item number. We've had a question for Kleiner. It's from... Who's that? Kelly Jean. Like it. Can you use... Sorry for stopping talking now. I forgot I was meant to talk at all the time. Uh, Claire, my love, we've had a question in. Yeah. For, uh, so can you use the rosette dies from the One Day Special on vellum or parchment paper? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, one of the design team actually made a sample, my inspiration team, uh, using vellum. So yes, you can. Have I got that here? I'm not sure it might be. Um, it was a rosette and the outside ring was actually made of vellum and some of the tails... I do have it here. Look at this. Uh, this is for Kelly Jean. So this here is your parchment, I think. And also the frame behind you, the baby one, is actually made using um, foam on. Oh, I thought that was paper. That's... Yes, yeah, so it's got like a tactile element to it, hasn't it? It's oh, nice and soft. Oh, that foam that you make flowers out of. Is that the right stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the stuff. Oh. That's, That's why I thought it'd be great for like a baby rosette because it's like soft, you know. If it's soft and tactile, that is beautiful. And then I personalise the middle um, using my Lincolns. You see, she's thought of it all. Who's she, the cat's mother? Our cleaner thought of it all. But thank you for your question. You see, any more questions, please do send them in. If it's, if it's one of those things that are putting you on the edge and you don't know which way, you don't know, well, if it don't do that, I'll leave it for today. I'll leave it. Don't leave it. Because I don't want you to miss out on this. When The minute I walked in, I thought rosettes are amazing. You can use them for so many things. My Molly would love to be able to make rosettes. Imagine the birthday parties you can have now. Imagine the bouquets of flowers. Uh, we've sent, well, we've sent an all, I've sent an awful lot of flowers over the last couple of months with birthdays because you can't really see anyone. So flowers are the next best thing. Uh, so I've sent an awful lot of flowers. But now I could create my own bouquets of flowers to give to loved ones that are, are close to me and leave them on the steps by putting rosettes on it. And I could personalise these rosettes that I've already got and pop the medals on there as well. There is so much you can do with these. Right then, let's go straight into our first demonstration because I feel we should learn how to make the rosettes and uh Kane's going to show us everything we need to know right my love it's all yours what do you need to tell me okay um right so the main main part is so simple but the main part is in the pleating in the paper um 
Now there's already a curve in it, so it will actually naturally start forming into, into a curved shape when you pleat it. But if I can just show you the packet here. Um, so what you want to do um, is you want to, now obviously these two are different sizes, so they create you two different layers. You need to cut those four times each. So um, to create your outside layer, you want four of these. Inside layer, you want four of those. Now for your front, you want to use this one, the smaller plain circle. And then for the back, you want the larger plain circle. And then you want to cut it again, the larger plain uh, back with the perforated die. And that gives you your guide for when you're actually forming um, your rosette to keep it nice and circular. Okay, now your tails, you've got a larger tail, and then you've got the smaller tail, and then you've also got a detail layer if you'd like to add a, add a detailed um, small tail, and then you, could, you get a peek through to the, to, the, um, to the larger tail. So at the moment, at, if we just concentrate on, you want four of each of these, and I'll show you how to pleat them, and then I'll go through the other ones again. Okay, so. You want them in two pairs, basically. So the first one, you start off with a mountain fold, and then we're box pleating it. So we want to do two valleys, two mountains, two valleys, two mountains. It's as simple as that. Two valleys, two mountains. Tell them, my love, why you do this? I have, I have a question. Yeah. For those people that, that are getting this, so does this come with instructions or is it quite self-explanatory that you know, um, you'll know what to do the minute you get it home? No, what I'm going to do, I think it's best if you actually see it. Okay. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm showing you now, but um, I've already done a Facebook Live with my inspiration team to show them how to put it together. But I thought it would be good, actually, if I did another one um, in my main group to show everyone how to, how to put them together. I, know, um, we're not, I, think, we're, I think you need to see it. We're going to do it. For really. those people then that are asking, um, we're not meant to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, what group will you be putting it into? What group do we sort of need to like on the old social media? Uh, Cleaners Crafty Crew. Okay, crew. so we've got two now, and we started with a mountain fold. So we've got one here, I'll start up with a valley fold, so I'll do my second one. So you just do one valley fold, and then you're back to two mountains, two valleys. It's as simple as that. So you're folding along the perforations. And then that gives you two pairs. Uh, and then I um, pleat it up. So I just bend it in the first instance to um, kind of uh, get them going in the right direction. And then they're pleated. So you are, you've got your, your two pairs. At this stage, you can form your circle. Can we do this then out of um, any sort of paper? What's the thickest paper we could do? Could we go all the way up to our 300 CSM? So are, are we talking a bit rigid then? Do you know what? I haven't tried that, but I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work. The only thing is, um, no. The only thing I would say is it's important to have a small stapler. Um, because if you've got a small stapler, it allows it um, to kind of spread out the amount that it needs to. If you've got a larger stapler, you, make, you might make... Um, um, if it's I don't the larger know how to, the stapler, obviously, then the, the smaller the stapler, you're not really going to see them, are you, in that way? So you, you're sort of going to hide your own No, working. but it can actually restrict them from fanning out if you've oh, got okay. a large stapler. It's good to know. See, it's all these little tips, and it's all these little tips that we like to know. I was thinking as well, while I was watching you put that together, if you did lots of these like little ruffles, I'm sure eventually you would create little flowers. Yes. Do you need tissue paper and stuff like that? That works particularly well with the foam we're on. You see? Because it's soft, that will actually, um, it's, it's really like um, malleable. So yeah, that works particularly well with that. So don't just think rosettes and flowers. Don't just think rosettes and medals now. I've, we've also talked about flowers. Um, I was saying while I was prepping as well, the ruffle the claim is making at the moment, if you do that out of tissue or a little bit of organza, you've got the fold sort of in there. You could make like little tutu skirts. Like yeah, silhouette some, characters some of the um, my inspiration team have used lace in their samples and um, all, all sorts of materials. Okay, so at this point, what we're going to be doing is putting a staple 
at each plate. Now this is the kind of thing that um, just lately I've been just sitting pleating and stapling while I've been um, watching some box sets. Oh. So it, it's it's quite quite an enjoyable thing to do in the evenings. What have you been watching? Ah, Jimmy wants to know. Oh, I've, to um, I've, missed, I've, I've got nothing to watch at the moment. Money Heist. Oh, Money Heist. Yeah, is that the Spanish one? Yeah, it's where great. They, where they get locked in a bank? Fantastic, it is. I saw the, fir I saw the first episode, then I, I, I... It's a lot of subtitles. <laughs> oh, no, no, you can get... No, it's dub version. Oh. Nothing so, um, one. you hardly really notice it, but it's great. I feel like there's a gap in my life now it's finished. I miss it. It's like that, isn't it, with a box set? It is, isn't it? You watch, you watch them back to front and you don't even want to go to bed because, oh, just one more episode, just one more episode. See, this is what It's like getting to the end of a good book, isn't it? It is. Well, well, see, I've watched everything now. I watched his mother's son the other day on ITV. It's finished now, though, so you can't watch that. It's finished on the old dog, uh, oh, There's BBC and Channel 4 as well. There's so many others. I don't know if you can watch. Okay, so that's our second ring. They look, I was thinking actually, don't these look like cupcake holders? I bet you could pop a little cupcake in there. You could, sir. I've never been in one of these boxes before. Oh, your little cupcake holder, please, you know, make muffins. Yeah, muffin. I was thinking that. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be good. Okay, so, as I was um, um, d mentioning before, I'll just mention again. So, what you want to do is you want to cut out the backing layer twice so you want to cut it once with just the back in the outside um, die that's why I separated them like this to try and make it easier to understand then you want to cut it out again but using the perforated um, ring so you want two of those and I'll show you why that's handy okay so when you get your glue gun so the main three things you need is a glue gun a small stapler and safety pins that's your toolkit, basically. Would, if we didn't have a glue gun, could we use red liner tape? Or does it have to be a glue gun? I would use wet glue and then just put something weighted on it. Okay. So, you know, give it some drying time. Okay, so when we found this out, that guide is just to make sure that we keep it circular. Because you don't want them going over, or sometimes the, you get kind of little corners, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's all that we're doing. Um, your hot melt will start setting pretty quickly, but I'm just coaxing it a little bit. So you just be able to see that perforated um, line just on the edge. There you go, that's set, that's set enough. Now your next ring goes exactly over the top. Now this does start to look a little bit um, messy at one point, but don't worry, all this bit in the middle gets covered over. Right, and then the outer ring sits on exactly the same spot so we're using the ring underneath now as our edge we've had another question in yep uh from margaret from brighton she asks the obviously you've only done we've only got dies for two rings on here but on some of the finished samples we've got three rings how do we get the third ring ah that's really easy so what i did was i got an, a circle nested die that was slightly bigger than than the backer and then I cut five uh -huh. and put them together and then glued it on the back. Oh, okay. Makes sense now. Yeah. You can, um, you can go slightly smaller, but not too, too much smaller because it won't kind of fan out correctly. But you can, go, you can go a bit bigger. I haven't tried larger than five pieces, but I think I'll give it a go. See how many I can actually, you know, put together. Okay. So that's doing well. Next is our tails. So you get obviously a pair of tails. And then you want to staple your small one on top of your larger one. Then cross them over at the top. And then what I do is I just make sure they're not quite crossing over at the bottom there. And I staple them. Actually, at this point, you want to put two staples in. Because if you only put one in, they can actually swivel. But if you put two in, it will stop them from 
from Swiven. Now this, t because obviously they, these aren't fabric, they're rigid, you need to kind of give them a bit of a bend at the top. Now I'm keeping my staples right near the top edge so I can get the maximum length of my tails. And then I'm going to just coax it a little bit over the rest of the ribbon. And then put a dot of hot melt in there. And then pop your tails in. And I want to slide it down so the staples will just be covered over. Okay, now I want to make my front. So what I've done, the smaller die now. Now, it could, you could, at this point, it's worth mentioning, that's the plain one. But if you want to, these are the exact same size. You could use one of your radiating decorative ones from the metal set at this point so all of the the pieces mix and match together now i've cut i've stuck a couple of them together because the front of rosettes they're quite a they're quite heavy board normally and then i have picked rather than go for the first second third winner champion or whatever i want to use this um as to give to a loved one so i have picked you get six circle sentiments. Ah, it was hiding. So I'm going to pick one of these. So you've got quite a lot of choice of what to put in the middle. You've got the ones from the Rosex set. You've got the ones from the award set. You could personalize them with your Lincolns. You can, you know, go to town on them, really. And actually, there is a rosette over there that one of my inspiration team did where she used the Lincolns to personalize the tails. She actually cut a sentiment into the tails on the rosette as well. Oh yeah. That's the Reading Rocks star Reading one. Rocks. That's that one there, look, with the Lincolns on the bottom. It's great, isn't it? It is amazing. Okay, when I cut these out, I pop them onto double-sided um, sticky roll. You can actually get it on the Chanda website, but this stuff is worth its weight in gold. It really is for your, de for your um, delicate die cuts. There's no mess, there's no glue oozing out there so whenever I'm I'm cutting sentiments or anything delicate I always use that it's brilliant right now I want to actually I'll use my black because you won't see it what we want to do now is we want to build up the center because because our card is quite um it's quite rigid it stands proud quite a bit so we want to build up I'll try a couple of layers. Nope, that's not enough. So we'll add another layer. You don't want to push it in because you don't want the um, rosette front to bow. Try that. Yep, that's touching. So that's great. Yeah, that's touching. And then you just want to get it straight with your tail. Now for the back, I'm just going to pop a, a blank one on, but what you can do instead... Look at that though for paper. In the... So, so the papers in, really do all the work for you, don't they, in these? Yeah, yeah. You just follow the pleats and um, it's all done for you. So in this pack here, you've got two little um, dies here that look a little bit strange but they actually make the holes for your um your safety pens in the back so when you cut your backer i've i've cut a, a plain one but you can um put your holes in for your safety pins so i'll just show you how that how they go in i've got some um funky colored ones here so you just want to put the sharp end in follow it all the way around and then that's how that goes in so if i was to put a rosette on uh, uh, if this was to be worn that's what i would do but i'm just going to put a blank one on the back because i'm going to pop this into a frame so it won't be wearable in fact i don't even know why i'm neatening the back off if it's not going to be worn <laughs> but um but i just like to <laughs> have it i suppose 
But by the end of it, a lot of that glue and messiness now is all encapsulated. You can't see any of it. So it's all neat and tidy. If you get any hot glue um, strings, just run your um, heat gun over it, you know, for your embossing. Yeah. And, and that just shrinks them back. They disappear then. So there, it's all done. Now, what I'm going to do with this one, because yesterday when I did one, I popped it onto the front of a card. But today, I thought I'd pop it into a frame. Now, this frame has got quite a... Um, it's got, it protrudes, the, the frame itself, this picture frame. I love, a, I love a box frame. You can do so much with them. I'm, I'm a bit obsessed. And it was in the sale. It was like £1.50 or something. Oh, it was even like... better. Now, I'm taking out the mount and I'm taking out the frame. This was a... I think it was a 5x7. But if you take the mount out, it then becomes 6x8, which is perfect for your rosettes. So I've cut a piece of pattern paper. So because my rosette is grey and white, so I've got a different grey and white pattern here. And then I'm just going to pop that. I'll do one at a time. There. So I'm just going to put that back in and I can close that up. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it in from the front so I can see what I'm doing. There we are. Now, I can't put my head over it like I would at home, but I'll... I'm sure it'll be fine. So this isn't going to be removable and wearable because it's actually home home decor. So someone, you know, would stand this up or hang it on their wall because you're telling them that, according to you, they're the best ever. They're amazing. Now then, you could decide then at that point is who it's to. Um, for example, I've, I've cut out some of the banners here. I've got the wide one and the narrow one, or the middle one, because I didn't know which one I would use. But I was thinking possibly brother because of the colour scheme. So I don't know how we're doing for time. Shall I go ahead and do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah go on. Okay. Remember, so these guys are on the show as well. So you've got all the brothers, the mothers, uh, the daughters, the sons, the sisters. Uh, the greats, the grands, there's everything is in there. This is the set as well. Uh, the claim is currently using £49.96, 559972 is your right number. You get your banners in there, the sentiments, and you get all your, um, your, your family members really in there as well. Yeah, it's a true mix and match set. That's why they're called mix -ums, because um, when I bring out each die set I bring out, there'll never be any repeats. So if you've got and in this one, in one of the ones here, because I put and in for mum and dad. For instance, if I was doing a Christmas set, let's say, I mean, you know, let's say. Let's say, I feel, I feel. And well. if I was to do, say, I'm not sure if, if, if that it would be in it, but let's say I did uh, Mary and Bright, I would, you don't want to get Mary and Bright. And Bright, because the and would be in this set. Or say, if it had the word Christmas in it, you could use father from this kit to make Father Christmas. So the idea with this is you'll never get, you'll never get two dies. Um, but you're saying Christmas just the might, same, might be there. You, you know, um, yeah, you don't ever need to kind of purchase the word once. Because, like, for instance, you've got grand there. Instead of doing granddad, grandmother, you know, granddaughter, grandson, you've only got grand in that set once. Which is nice, because that opens up the doors to so many possibilities now that you can now create. Like, look how quick and easy this has come together, though. Look how beautiful that is. That's all done. And then when that stands up, I don't know if that yeah, will work, but when it there. stands up, the... Um, even though the sentiment kind of protrudes a little bit at the bottom here, it's on an angle so it doesn't touch anything. So Absolutely beautiful. There so is, there's, on, there, it, there is a home decor form, so it doesn't have to be on the front of a card or, or actually wearable because that could be something that, you know, they can hang on their bedroom wall and... Well, it's, 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 kind of, it's elements like that for, like, your 21st and your 18th. You mm. know those gift rules that you keep? 
I've still got on mine when I was 18 and then 21 and then 30. Um, could you keep them all? Because they're the memories. They're your milestone birthdays. So things like this would be perfect for those big milestone birthdays. Yeah, I, th and that's the thing. I was thinking. I was thinking. There's kind of like three kind of ways, especially if they're on the front of a card, because um, if you if you've got a medal or a rosette on the front of a card, one you've got it as a birthday card. Then you've got it as a wearable element that you can go around telling everyone all day long. It's my birthday. It's still my birthday. <laughs> and yes, it's still my birthday because you're wearing it all day. And then um, after that, then it's a keepsake. So you're kind of getting three three uses three out one. of that one item which is which is what i absolutely love about Kleiner's designs everything that she brings us to the world for chanda it's because Kleiner is a crafter because you are a crafter and oh, that, yeah. that is yeah. what you do i remember from our chats that we've had before you are a crafter so you've done the hard work already as it were so the minute we get these home it's a case of we can just play yeah when i'm designing products i always put some extra time and some extra thought into um is there any other way I can use this? Like, for instance, when I was um, designing this, it was like I tried to sneak in, you know, the, the gaps in the dies to try and get champion and winner and reserve in there as extras because they wouldn't quite fit. So I moved things around a bit. And then um, with the circle sentiments, you know, they're not just for the middles of your rosettes and, and your medals. They're shaker elements, you know. Yeah. They put them in the middle of a tag, in the middle of a wreath, you know, they can be used in so many ways. They really can. And this is what I love. But when you get these home, you're going to get all the dies. You're going to need something to cut them out of. And you're going to need some cardstock. Uh, we've got seven day savers on the show as well. They are Pink Frog. Uh, it's A4, 120 GSM and 300 GSM as well. You're getting 50 of each for £15. £15 today. Uh, it is ice gold as well. So it didn't really come across on those pictures, but it is ice gold. I'll see if I can get some either this hour or next hour just to show you as well. Uh, 171505 is your item number uh, for your Pink Frog card. And then we've got your embossing tool as well, Oakwood Archer. Now, this is more or less of a buy one, get one as well. Maybe it's you and a friend want one. Maybe you want one for you and one for your craft room. Maybe you pop one in your bag when you go out and about. Obviously, we will go out and about eventually. Um, so maybe it's sort of those things as well that you really can um, get involved with them and you will need ball saws as well. We also need watercolour card as well. Maybe you're going to colour your own. Uh, maybe you're going to colour your own rosettes or medals and you want to do it with watercolours. Uh, you could do that as well. You can now start framing them. Um, they're just telling me, Mia, find your own picture. £12.60. Ah, oh, one's broke. Uh, it's watercolour card is what it is. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you that paper as well from uh, Pink Frog and then I'm going to talk about you. So that's the colour that you're getting. Okay, so that is your ice gold just there. So, uh, one day special, very, very busy. 60% now of the stock has already gone. Our first demonstration, I think the penny has now dropped, as it were. These ones here, these are your ruffles for your rosettes. You get your centers as well. But looking at that die set, just that one alone, You've got your first, second and third. They're fronts of cards already. That will take me through birthdays. That's my first three birthdays for a newborn baby. I've got winner, champions and reserves as well. We've even got the eyelets so I can make any badge I want to make now and turn it into a badge because I've got those eyelets already. I've got circle elements so I can now start making shaker cards. I've got the banners as well that I've already got on there. Um, but then you can start creating medals of this because you're getting these dies in the kits. I'm going to show you the rosettes straight after this as well. Um, they are beautiful. And how realistic do they look when you get these home? They are, they are absolutely stunning. And then you've got the rosettes elements in there as well. How real do they look? They are like the ones made of ribbons. You could do these from ribbon if you wanted to. So it would look a little bit like these. You could really, really go to town. You know, there's so, and I've got so many elements I want to show you. For the sheer fact, maybe you're thinking, this is all well and good, Adam. I'm loving the rosettes, but what am I going to do? I'm not, not going to make rosettes all year round. You haven't got to. For the sheer fact now, you can make yourself a little book. Now, inside your little book, you have now got everything in there so look at that 
you have got a, you could use it as a little scrapbook you could use it as a photo album you could use it as a little journal if you wanted to as well you could have pictures of the family that's in there every every person in the family could have their own page and this book could get bigger and bigger and bigger and that's what you keep maybe you just pass this book down from generation to generation and they add a new photo they add something else into the little book they add their baby photos maybe this would take you through the first three years of a new little baby I know there's apps out there and I started one and I should have really kept it up of my mom when she was small to how she is now but you could do this in paper form you could do these with the medals that they win at those little sports days maybe they don't give them anything maybe they just get a certificate but you want a, you want a medal for their scrapbook you've got medals you've also got as well the rosettes for birthdays not just birthdays stag do's hen do's wedding parties any sort of celebration that you want there 50 60 70 80 90 100 you've got everything you need to wear your rosette with pride everyone loves a rosette of all the ones i get i get birthday girl um but you've also got best ever reader as well on there so it doesn't have to just be for it doesn't have to just be for sports these could be for for little things they could be things for like reading maybe you've achieved something maybe the little ones have achieved something and you want to reward them what a way to reward them by giving them their own badge by giving them their own medal number one champion you've also got winner in these as well and these are how many um how many layers would you do to, just to get it the thickness or does it matter does it cope on the paper would you say claim my love it, it's up to you i mean when you when you make them there's four layers and then i put some uh foam pads in there so they they get a bit thicker but yeah i think i would add an extra couple of layers if, if your kids are going to be playing with them but they do look particularly effective in like mirror card which normally does come quite thick anyway yeah I, I, I kind of base those on, you know, the like Olympic medals. That's what I was thinking of, like a real statement piece. No, they really are, especially with like the sort of leaves that you've got around the edge. Because a lot well. of um, when, like I said, I used to actually make rosettes um, in a previous life, and um, we used to actually purchase some medals, um, especially for the children's round. So they all had one to take home, and they're often very tiny little things. So I really wanted to make these big big statement rosettes we love them and you're loving them as well 60 percent of the stock has already gone every one day special 29 pounds and 99 pence across two flexible payments you're also saving 15 pounds here as well uh, at six o'clock this evening the price will go back up to 74 pounds and 97 pence right i'm going to rattle through the next one uh, at five o'clock so because we launch a brand new one day special at six o'clock tonight william morris this evening I know. Uh, right then, family sentiments. I'm going to rattle through these because I want to get another demonstration in this hour as well. Uh, you've got everything you need in here. Every name is in here as well. For more or less everyone in the family can have their own sentiments as well. Not only do you get the sentiments though, you're also getting the banners in here. Uh, like the old medieval banner. I love the style of this banner because these could be tags on Christmas cards. These could be tags on birthday cards. They could be bookmarks if you wanted them to be. There is so much you can do with a tag like this. You could turn them into bunting as well. And you can extend these to as long as you want. You just keep feeding it through your machine. And then when you stop, you've also got the end. And then you've also got sentiments thrown in as well. 29 dies, 22 stamps in total. You've got things like you're the best in the world, in-law, step, get well soon, love you ever uh, happy birthday happy anniversary thanks for all thanks for all you do you're so special um, to the most amazing it's all I'll always be here for you things like this you won't find anywhere else but the font is a timeless font it also matches with everything else that you've already got as well 49 pounds and 96 pence or you can put that into flexible payments of 24 pounds and 98 pence 559972 is your item number works perfectly with your one day special as well that's already here um if we've got time i, I know i said i'd be quick on this but you've found this on the website as well uh, this is take a stand now turn any card any picture, any image, well, basically anything you want. Now freestanding, okay? This, we normally use uh, stands like these, okay? These are what we use in, tele in the telly box to stand everything up. With these, you haven't got to. You're getting all the stands to stand everything up that's there. So you've now got all the stands that you need 
Uh, if you're popping them in the post, they will also fold flat as well. And they're decorative with what I like as well. So you've got that stitch finish in there. You've got things that will also... Go on, my sorry. Well. Oh, here we go, look. I only saw the stand. Uh, you've also got the wall hanging. So if you want to start wall hanging your images now as well, it could be a lock if you wanted it to be. Uh, if you've got a die of a key, you could use that as a lock to spin it around. It could be a padlock if you put a top on, a little arch from some maybe one of the ovals that's also in there. Uh, it could be a little front of a chest if you wanted it to be. There is so much you can use these for. Um, the world is your oyster and you're also getting sentiments in there as well down the bottom with that lovely stitch effect. £19.99, pence worth popping into your basket. And now you can make your rosettes and your medals uh, stand if you want them to. I absolutely adore these. Uh, jump to the website though, everything's on there. We've also got nested dies on the show as well. Rectangles, oblongs and become a Freedom member. It's worth becoming a Freedom member if you're not already, especially if you're in the US as well. Uh, everything's on the website as well. Really do flick through. Right then, we haven't got long. I'm going to jump straight to another demonstration. Uh, I think this time we're doing a medal. Kaina, it's all over to you. Okay, now because um, uh, I can't pass you this, I've already done you one and it's inside the little wooden box over there. What, the dad box? Yeah. <gasps> oh, here we go. So this is, the, this is the dad box. That, look at that already, that's actually rosette on the front already. And then... Number one. Is this generally mine? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I have my own medal. Because you're the number one presenter of the hour. Oh, no. you okay. heard it here first. <laughs> Can I have that in right? Can we just clip that bit of VT as well, please, Jim? <laughs> uh, look at that. I will watch my microphone. Number one. <laughs> Back to clay. Back to clay. Oh, I'm going red like a beetroot. I love it. Oh, okay, so, so all, all I'm doing is alternating my layers. Now, if you're using um, a shiny layer, I would recommend putting that on the back layer. So in this, in this instance, my shiny layer is my satin layer. So that's on the back to peek through and then but if I was using satin with the mirror card, I would put the mirror at the back. So what I've done is I've mounted this onto a plain one to make it a bit firmer. But in the, in the kit, you've actually got a choice. Actually, there's four different ways. Because um, one of these has got like a laurel wreath around it, but I've gone for the other one, the stars. Um, and then you've got these two radiating kind of um, details. So you've got, you've got um, you know, the outer to pick and the, and the inside to pick. I'm just going to pop some some foam on there. They've got snippability as well, these have, haven't they? So if you only want, if you wanted to snip into them, like we're just looking far to see while you're um, sticking that one, but like you can snip into the cards if you wanted them. Yeah, yeah, cause, yeah, if you've got, you know, any circle nested dies, you can um, put apertures into the middle of them. Actually, you can use the ones that are in, in the kit. Okay, I'm just trying to get that square. I don't know if that is. Okay, now I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon. I tend to do it like an armed length. Um, and cut it there, that seems to be about the right size. So I'm going to pop that through. Well, unless you're Derek. Your arms aren't that <laughs> you're long, a bully. You. <laughs> you're a bully to that poor man. No, I love him dearly. Oh, I no. really do. Bless him. I've yet to meet him, actually. Are you, have you not met our Derek yet? No. Oh, bless him. Sure, I won't You look down on him. <laughs> I won't. Well, he looks up to you. <laughs> I'm five foot. I don't well. think anyone looks up to me. Loads of Okay. Give away his real height. So I'm just going to give a, uh, add a little bit of double, a strong, mind you, double-sided um, tape 
put this together. But if you wanted to do a, you know, a really special one, you could always stitch it, make it really posh. Now, I'm going to mount that onto the front of my card, and then I'm going to show you how to deal with the, with the ribbon. We've had another question in. Yeah. Um, and they've kept themselves an they've kept themselves anonymous for this one, which we don't mind doing. We can throw we can throw um, we can throw still throw questions. They're, they're they're saying they're brand new to the world of crafting. Yeah. Um, will these dies go through most of the machines, or would, are there certain machines that it won't go through? Yeah, because none of the individual pieces are large, so they'll go through any machine. Where are my glue dots gone? Oh, they're there, right in front of me. Right, so I would recommend popping some repositionable glue dots just to put it on your card because then the recipient can take it off. I was also thinking magnets as well. You could turn them into magnets. Oh, that's a great idea. Little fridge magnets. You could have, um, especially for weddings, you could pop them on the cars as well. If you had a magnet, you know the magnetic shims that we sell. Okay, so I've got a four inch square here. How much time have I got there? You've got about three minutes. Oh, okay, that should be okay. Right, so I've got a four inch square. I mean, it, it does, it's not exact, but it's just an idea of um, the measurements I used. And then I'm scoring it at half an inch and then three quarters of an inch. And I'm doing that on three sides. So half an inch and then three quarters of an inch. Then half an inch, three quarters of an inch, just on the three sides. So this is an easy peasy thing to do. I mean, I cut my four inch square with a nested die, but you wouldn't have to, just just um, cut it on your, your paper trimmer. Cut the corners out and score along both the score lines on the sides. And then, now what I do is I, I pop some little, um, you know, 3D foam pads. I just pop some together to, for it to be the right height. And then I'll put a dot of glue, oh, that was too much, on each corner. But I've already done one of these because that glue is a little bit wet, so it's a little bit slower setting. Okay. And I'm just going to pop that to the side because I have got one. Now, so what I'm going to do with this, just want to scrape a little bit, just okay. Remember the details on the side of the screen are for your one-day special. Right, yes. so I'm just going to pop that inside my card. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, so I'll just fold up the ribbon, and then we'll pop it into the little pocket we've made, and that keeps it nice and neat. So when the recipient gets their card, they might think, oh, that's a, that's a lovely, you know, um, embellishment on the front of my car but when they open it they'll see that the ribbon is tucked away in that pocket so it's to be taken out and worn i love that and then if you wanted to as well you could then put the um you could put the take the stand and put that on the back of there of the box as well if you wanted to so you've got the take stands you've got the frame you can use them in frames as rosettes you can wear them as a medals if you wanted to as well you can use them as card toppers you can use them as card fronts it's entirely up to you what you do but really do start thinking outside of the box for sheer fact there is so much you can do once you get home the snippability factor in these you've got shaker cards in there you've got snow globes in there as well but there's only scratching the surface of what you can do four two eight six seven two is your item number for your one day special 59 pounds and 97 pence or two flexible payments of 29 pounds and 99 pence now remember 
65% uh, of the stock now has already gone. If you bought anything from yesterday, though, you'll have that £5 credit into your account already. Um, but if it was me, I would save that £5 credit for later on in the day, and I would go with your two flexible payments of £29.99. Pence. Uh, 428672 is your item number once again for your one day special. 65% of the stock has gone. Uh, we are back at 12 o'clock. Planer, will you be here? All right then. It's a date. <laughs> uh, we'll both be there. Thank you very much for the amazing demonstrations. Uh, don't go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of Achanda. And the next hour, you really won't want to miss. Yes, indeed. Look who's in the building. It stamps away. Get your phones and your tablets at the ready. I think it's all going to go pretty, pretty fast. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art Stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Hochanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue, who hand draws all the images, which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Mm -hmm. 
our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew... No. Alas, poor Yorick, I... I uh, what do you mean you got up early? Not as early as me this m Oh, sorry, everyone. Uh, just having a little chat with my friend right here. Oh, we're in for an amazing show. We really are. We've got Ali with us. Ali is here in the studio. Safe at social distancing over the other side of the studio, but Ali is with us to take us through all of these amazing kits. And this right here in my hands, the details on this, if you can have a look, the weight is incredible and the detail, even if I turn this upside down, look at that, the detail on that jawline absolutely sensational. What you've got here is a whole complete kit for you to put together an amazing project. First of all, the price, you're saving over £10, £10 and a penny to be precise, £39.99, but it is available on two payments of £20. And if you buy from us right now, if this is your first purchase today on Hochanda, you get a £5 credit going into your account that you can spend tomorrow on a purchase of £30 or more. Now, this is £30 or more. So if you have your £5 credit from yesterday, you can place it into this particular deal. Ali, this truly is an amazing price, but can you talk us through what we're getting in the kit? So we wanted to do this for a long time, um, which is takeaway workshops, because when we've been running workshops, people said, oh, you're too far away, they can't make the dates and things. So this has been an idea that's been in the pipeline for many years, but actually now it's sort of kicked us into gear and we've got it done. So what you get in the box is everything to make the project that you see. So that is the steampunk one, which is um, a, a skull on a stand with cog bases. He's got little goggles. And then there's a DVD, which takes you through with me going, this is what you do, this is how you do it. And anybody that comes to my workshops, yes, it is proper me. I will be going, oh, and you could also do this and change my mind halfway through because that's what I do. <laughs> I but love that. But also, literally, you get everything. So if you've not got anything at home, you can still do this. So you get a little bag of embossing powder. You get a smaller version of the, the gesso because you don't need a big one. You get a full-size gleam. You get all the embellishment pieces you need, everything. So what I did was I made the project and then broke it down because it's really hard because in a workshop, I'm so used to going, oh, you can just... Do so it was really hard for me. So it was a case of do it. And then I did like an ingredient. So it was back engineered to make sure that we put everything you needed in the box. The steampunk hat one, the, um, that one, is actually, although it looks the most complicated, it is the most straightforward. So if you've never done anything mixed media before, that's the one to go for because it's very, very... Um, believe it or not, very simple techniques in it. All the techniques can then be carried across into other projects. I love the effect that you've got here on that hat, that old rusty metal look. I even show you how to do the rivets. Brilliant. So all, all of the information about how to get these effects with the paint. Even the strips of black card have been laser cut and included in the kit. So you, you literally pop the pieces out, do the instructions as I tell you, and it is do as I say, although I'll know. Uh, <laughs> um, and then you, you, you build it along as you go. I love that. I think this is incredible. It gives you a taster of everything. And this is your steampunk option. So if you do like the skull with those uh, cogs on there and the glasses, he looks great, doesn't he? Um, if you do want to go for this, we're very busy. I'm just being told nearly 20% of the stock has gone already. So that's one option. Remember, it's the full kit and the DVD, but we've got another option. So let's have a look at this one. Uh, you get the skull, incredibly engineered. I love that with that cast. And you get 
all that's required to make and create this. Now, look at that. That really is a treasure chest, isn't it? Amazing. Amazing. Um, now, uh, lots of you going for this one because you are... <laughs> Sorry, I, don't, I just didn't know how I was going to get that line in. But anyway, it's done now. It's out of the way. Uh, Ali, what are we getting in this kit? So this one has our MDF chest kit in it. Yeah. So that's your, your base. Um, you get a baseboard and even a quarter compass. And again, the compass has been cut, so it fits on the baseboard. So you're not having to do any, any fiddling around. You get a little bit of moulding mesh in here to create that lovely net effect. Um, you even get the paper that you screw up to put in the bottom of the chest to make it look like it's full of treasure. We take you through how to make your gold coins. You get the fabric to do his bandana, which I put across his eye for, I think that just gives him, instantly, as soon as you oh, do that, he becomes that. a pirate. Yeah. So you get, it's, it's a recycled cotton fabric. So you get, again, you get the glue, you get your gilding wax, you get black gesso again. Um, this but we, is this is amazing, Ali. How do you make fabric the like, glue. set like that? It's the glue. Amazing. And that's included, of course, and you will teach us the technique. Yes. So in these, you always get a full-size glue yeah. because it's one of those things that's handy to have around. The gesso we've put into smaller jars. We normally have big jars. We've just put into smaller jars just in case some people will already have gesso. Yeah. So it meant that we could... We were trying to get the price right so that we gave you plenty but didn't overload it so it would be ex too expensive. It was, it w it's been quite a... You don't realise until you do it how much is involved in getting these sorted. But I, I absolutely loved making that one. That was... Um, yeah, there was a lot of under-the-sea sort of puns. You <laughs> even get a little bag of treasure, which is a little bag with little beads and bits in which is where you use that to create some texture and things like that and you can pick out little details you also get a length of my favorite thing which is the twine because you can do so much and I'll take you through techniques with that as well so it is like a real it's a box of magic it certainly is and and you know what it's so satisfying you know when you've created this and you look back on that creation and you look at the elements that you're getting lay them out do you know what I would do? I'd take a picture of all the elements and then take a picture as you start to put it together yeah. because you really will be amazed. You will because you go through a stage, especially on that one because you've got the white fabric, the white skull and everything, and then it starts to come together. The moment you paint it all black is the most satisfying moment because yeah. that's the first moment it all comes as one. Yeah. And then, but what I want to make it clear is, yes, that looks a complicated kit, but it is not. It yeah. is so achievable. You even get photo step-by-steps to build the chest so that you can do that while watching the telly. Um, it's all so easy to do and then you just can have so much fun. Yeah. I mean, with these templates that you can see here, the bits that you push out, it looks very, very clear. It looks very clear. And because they're all precision cut as well, it's going to be so easy to put together. Over 10% of the stock of this one has gone £39.99. and pence. Remember, you can divide the cost into two. So if you're thinking, maybe I want to go for both, just hold your horses for a moment because we've got another kit for you. Um, this is a different style because we don't have the skull in this one, do no, we? No, basically, again, what I wanted was a bit of variety. I could tell you, the people that come to my workshops, I would say who could go, who would choose each of these kits because everybody has their own favourite style and not everybody's into the skulls and the steampunk and things like this. So we wanted something that was a bit different and this is why we did the uh, beautiful frames. In this one, you get to make both of these projects. Okay. I did the workshops and then I couldn't choose, so I put both in. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. I, that's I, very just, kind I couldn't, of you. I couldn't choose. So you get to do both of these. They each have different techniques, but they because they've got the same ink sprays in, they will coordinate. So if you wanted to do a pair, and also I tend to put my frame up into the top right-hand corner. Yeah. If you were doing them as a pair and you were thinking about it, you could put one in top left, one in top right, so you could have them on the mantelpiece mm -hmm. either side and have symmetry that way if you wanted I love that. but again you get everything you need even down to the little tiny bottle that's in one of the frames and you get that lovely color mist as well so you can get that lovely vintage grungy 
style it's the patina project. look because you've yeah. got the blue and the green there and then you've got a copper oh each of them has a different color gilding wax in as well so if you go for all three kits you will end up with three completely different colors of gilding wax how lovely uh, do you know what i do love that rusty patina yes style and look. you'll s learn how to combine that with the ink sprays for a really fabulous effect and I, I guess ali you'll have some of the mediums left over you will the um gleams definitely you'll have loads left the ink sprays again you'll have loads left glue you'll have quite a lot left um, but again on this one I show you another technique so each one has a technique with just with the glue that you can do that's wow. outside of the normal sticking things with it. Uh, our lovely producer has just come up with a great idea you know normally you go to a workshop and sometimes you don't have all the necessary uh, mediums to actually complete your project so you're borrowing from your friends you're asking the person running the workshop can I just have a little bit of that and where do you get that from the great thing is you've got it all here and you'll have some left over after your projects to continue with the knowledge that you're going to get and that workshop is in the comfort of your own home and the great thing actually I was going to say the great thing is you can pause Ali I didn't mean it as it no, sounds no, 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 I totally understand <laughs> I'm sure anybody who's been to my workshops wishes they had that function as well oh, I mean, pause be quiet woman <laughs> you can pause and rewind so you can watch it again that's what I meant that's what I meant uh, no you were right first time Janice <laughs> a great kit for you $39.99 saving uh, just over £10 remember if you're using your £5 credit from yesterday makes it even more better for you uh, right so that is your third option so three options for you and all of those options include the workshop for the kit that you're getting so if you did go for all three kits it's a different lesson each and every time and you can divide the cost into and two very different techniques in each one as yes. well and the thing I keep forgetting to say is in the frames kit you see the beautiful flowers you get to make those as well Super. So we provide oh. the paper for doing it and the template. Yes, the templates are two different sizes. Here. They might look a little bit random, but I wanted. I do my rolled roses just freehand. Yeah. So I did one freehand, and then we drew around that and created the template from that. So Perfect. that has the real freehand look to it yeah. because it is freehand. Love that. That but is they fantastic. They are so effective, and it just meant that you can make as many. So again, if you've got your own things, you can add into these. Yeah. But if you haven't, again, you've got everything you need. So if you do decide to go for the three different kits, it's three different lessons, three different workshops, three very different techniques for you. Uh, what an amazing deal. Uh, right, we are moving on because we've got some added extras for you. Because you are getting your mediums with each and every kit and you will have some left over, how about going for some extras uh, now we've got some options for you I can't really believe the price of this that is incredible when you get this home not only will you be in awe of the detail that's on this skull it is incredible um, also the weight of it as well it's a really good heavy weight now I'm just being told that nearly 40% of the skull has gone oh my word you can multiply this just saying 9.99 an incredible price just as it is it looks amazing but when you start to add your gesso your different sprays and your different mediums on there you can create some incredible incredible effects 334342 brand new today uh, there's another option for you you have got your column uh, again the detail on here is absolutely lovely and you've got that great weight to it as well 9.99 it's plaster cast mm. so you can use your mediums on here 334342 is your item number again you can multi buy if you want to now we've got some more uh, plaster cast for you we've got different item numbers now you get two frames uh, two frames two pocket watches or two hands um, in the deal and it's different item number so one two one five eight seven sorry is it's sorry it's one item number three different options so two frames you've got the what are we call in this Not fob watch a fob watch of course it is um, or you've got the hands uh, which are lovely but the detail first of all in the frame is gorgeous and because it is a frame as well let me just lift this up and turn this around if you wanted to you could put a picture in there which would be lovely or you could put some of your ephemera or create uh, your flowers in there which will look great so two of those frames really good size 
and then the fob watches I mean look at that that is so detailed even the workings as well just on the inside like that love that that is beautiful you get two of those 13 pounds and 49 pence for your freedom member and then the hands oh my word absolutely fascinating the detail you've got the detail in the knuckles there the nails that is fabulous I wonder whose hand that was based on clearly not mine because mine's huge my hand looks huge my hands are big but look at that so delicate that beautiful hand just there uh, but you don't get one you get two love that uh, now, £14.99 pence if you want to go for um, any of these sets, but Freedom members, 13 49 so if you're a Freedom member, no P&P to pay, and you get the discount, 121587, and again, if you've got that £5 credit, if you are getting various items in the show, and you'll purchase your basket, it's £30 or more, you can use your £5 credit against that. Right, we've got some stencils for you. Love stencils, they really change your project, don't they? You know, if you're, you, you're putting together something down on paper or with your MDF, for example, and you want something to make a difference, these will make all the difference for you. With stencils, of course, you can use the whole of the stencils or you can use part of that stencil with your texture paste and your inks. So, $14.99, you get, you get the A4 and you get the three smaller stencils as well. £14.99, but because with a stencil, you can keep using it on repeat. You can could actually take that pattern as large as you want it. 736995 is your item number. And then we've got some micro uh, sprays for you. Um, <laughs> I am okay. I'm just excited about the demos coming up. Uh, these are your micro sprays. You've got your sprays, not sprays. What's wrong with you, Janice? Uh, I might get the skull to continue presenting. <laughs> right, you've got purple, aqua, and pink. When you get these home, just give them a shake. Do swirl it rather than shake it. Or, when it's a full bottle. It's easier to swirl, but once it's a, a part bottle, shake away. As long as all that mica is agitated and mixed. Yeah. Mica is a sediment which will always settle to the bottom. So, so you we must can give it a swirl and then we can give it a shake. Yeah. Perfect. It just because you need to get it up from the bottom yeah. because then you know that the spray is going to be consistent all the way through and you're not going to get any clogging excellent we don't want that do we 999 305 929 is your item number now um if you do want to go with your sprays um 305 929 but we've also got some seven day savers and these will work lovely with your seven day sprays uh savers i cannot speak today what is wrong with you janice i don't know i'm sorry i apologize it's because I've been talking to myself in a mirror all morning, so that's the only friend I've got at the moment. Uh, right, £24.99, saving £16. This is a seven-day saver. This is not going to be available tomorrow after 8am. Just telling you that, it won't be available. So if you want it, grab it quick. It's a Tim Holtz ideology paper, and uh, it's your wallflower. It's absolutely beautiful, it really is. 733881 is your item if you want to go for that. We've got some pink frog crafts card oh it's a mouthful isn't it but it's good um and it's excellent card quality as well this is your ice gold paper and card collection so you've got the paper and the card so if you want an insert to your cards this is the perfect match 120 gsm for your paper 300 gsm for your card you get 50 of each you're saving 12 pounds on that deal 15 pounds but again this will not be available after 8 p.m to uh, 8 a.m tomorrow so pop them into your basket right ali we're over to you for the demonstration excellent yes right so we're going to start with one of the beautiful frames and we're going to do a frame version of this kind of canvas but we're going to do a shrunk down version um just so that you can see how to do it. But what I love with these is they're sizable pieces so that you can go really big if you want to. But um, just because I like to recycle, I've got an old dog food box, which was gonna be my base. So you just start by building up a little bit of an arrangement. With the frames, you actually get the little MDF insert that goes into the back of your frame. Now, depending what you're doing on your project, you might need to want to leave that out and paint the frame separately, then you're not having to worry about going inside. But because I'm gonna be um, applying color to all of this, I'm just gonna stick this in now. But you could put some texture on that if you want, some scrumpled paper. I've got one done at the next stage, so I'm only gonna roughly do this. But good amount of glue on the back. 
and then I've got some flowers I've got some ivy vine which I just sort of dismantle and stick now again I'm using our acrylic glue but I'm sticking things that might take a little bit of time now if they're springing up and you want them to stay in place quite quickly if you take your glue put a little blob and then blast it with your heat gun you'll see it's shiny to begin with and then as it starts to go matte it means the top layer is starting to dry then you can press into it and things grab quicker just speeds up the whole process so that's how I've managed to glue some quite unusual things onto things like um, an ice cream bowl onto the top of a column to make a garden urn like you do <laughs> pretty much all these all these projects are, I don't use a glue gun I only use our acrylic glue and I use it on everything um, it is quite a running joke. If you don't stand still, I will stick you to things. Do you need much of the glue? Alex? No, no, not a massive. Depends what you're sticking. Take uh, my friend beside me here. <laughs> he pretty much took a whole bottle of glue, but that's it, a whole bottle, and he has got all even to do the structure inside him. Um, so no, you, you'll. You won't, use a, you won't use a massive amount. I tend to be a little bit over generous. My husband would disagree. He says I don't put enough glue on, which is amusing because I, I do. He just doesn't realize how good our glue is. Okay, so I would just carry on adding texture. Um, bits like recycled bits of um, necklace. Now, if you're putting something like that's gonna spring around, if you put your glue in the pattern you want it to do. So draw with the glue, because that's easier. Now you can either heat gun it again or carry on doing something else to leave it for a couple of minutes. And then you can lay your thing in and it'll go exactly where you want it. That's really handy if you're using um, things that have got wire in them that have a bit of a mind of their own. So you just carry on building up. Now, anybody that knows me knows I love texture and everything's all about texture. But I've started purposefully, that's a long word for a Saturday morning, leaving areas of flat. And this is because I've been using the mica sprays more. I used to use mica sprays a lot years ago and then they were one of those things that kind of went to the back of the cupboard and got forgotten about. So I've started using them a lot more and I found that areas of void of texture you can actually create really nice effects with your mica spray. So don't feel you have to overload everything with texture. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit and I've just painted this all one colour. I happen to get a cheap can of um, garden spray reduced to a pound so that was it um, and it's really good if you're doing something like this to, to make it up into spray it's quicker. So everything is one colour. So when you're doing projects like this don't worry too much about what the base colour um, of things underneath is because you're going to take one color over the top. If you haven't got a spray, you can use your gesso. If you um, roughly gesso it all and then mix your gesso with a little bit of water, then spritz, it will help get into all the little nooks and crannies that you can't get to. Right, so now we're going to have the fun. But notice again, I've left void areas. So, mica sprays. And I've, again, I've chosen some colors that just when you look at them in a line, you might think, mm, do they really all go together? But yes, they do. So you've got this beautiful purple, really rich. And you can see the mica at the bottom there, and that's what you want to get up for two reasons. One, you want to make sure that the mica is in the liquid that you're spraying. And two, you don't want it to suck up into the spray because, as I say, it's a sediment so it won't actually ever dissolve in water, it will just float around. If you suck too much up, you'll get a clog. And then you have to sit with a jam jar of hot water and you dismantle your spray, you put the lid on, you shake it, and it just, it slows down the crafting process. Now, be generous with your spray because we want this to be really wet. And I don't overly worry about what colors I'm grabbing first. I just grab. Again, this is, this is the aqua, a beautiful colour. What I've noticed with the plaster, if you're using mica sprays and you've gessoed them first, you just get your normal mica spray effect. 
If you don't gesso them first and you just use a normal paint or just use them raw, when the mica sprays hit them, the colour soaks in, but the mica sits on the surface, so you get a really fabulous effect. So we'll do look at that later. Ali, do you need to wait for one to dry before you put the other one on? Will they muddy yeah. up? They won't muddy up. Well, it depends what colours you mix. So just always in the back of your mind, think what colours mix together. The general rule of thumbs with water-based products is if you want the colours to maintain their integrity, let one dry before you put the next one if you want them to mix together and obviously when you're dealing with micas and you've got different colors of mica you want them to react to each other wet yeah and then they'll start to almost dance together Perfect. but what we're going to do i really like this strong color get some on the frame and also when you're dealing with something very dimensional can you see here how you get a halo when you use a spray so just get in the habit of rotating things. I have a little cardboard box that I've cut the front off um, and it sits on my wheelie bin outside and I go and do my spraying outside to just save the house a little bit. Now I am going to speed this up with with my heat gun. Personally, and I am not the most patient crafter, letting it dry naturally you get more reactions between the colours but it doesn't it doesn't overly matter if you're like me and you can't wait for it to dry and you want to speed it up because you can have fun see I can push the liquid around and don't be afraid to tip it up as well I just want to get this a little bit dry because I'm going to grab my gilding waxes in a minute but you can see with the texture of that frame how the mica goes into all the nooks and crannies and really highlights and the blue and the purple together just but it's these areas of flat as well that the mica starts to get almost like a mottled effect I'm hoping this is one of those things you really need to try it at home because it is slightly mesmerizing and because I'm such a patient crafter I'm actually going to grab my gilding waxes now um, because I'm that patient. Do you um, think the more it dries, Ali, the more that they sparkle? That yes, it comes it's the out. weirdest thing with mm. mica. When it's damp, you're like, oh, a bit naff, really. And then when it starts to dry. And also, if you're using a matte or chalk paint, yeah. the colour soaks in and, and, and mellows. So if I did these colours um, onto the white gesso, yeah. the colours are so subtle. It's wow. beautiful. But then on the same note, if I do them onto black, they take on a whole different life. That's the purple on the black. That's the purple and the pink, which oh we'll use goodness. in a minute. That looks That's totally called different. Time is Precious, Waste It Wisely. And it's all bits that mean things to me. Yeah. So I, I save all sorts. So there's a little dog tag in there. There's um, an old paintbrush. There was a running joke, I think it was with Catherine, about my scissors and how, I know, Natasha, because I'm terrible with scissors. She said, what do you do with your old ones? There you go. They get incorporated into art. <laughs> that is fantastic. So it's great to experiment with those markers when you get them home. Yeah. And what we're going to do is don't be afraid to layer them with other mediums as well. So what I've got here is our gilding waxes. Now we've changed recently, in the last year, to water-based gilding waxes from solvent-based um, for numerous reasons. But one of the reasons was gilding waxes, when they're solvent-based, if you put them on, that's it, they're on. So if you go too heavy-handed, there's very little way back. Whereas we discovered with these water-based ones that there's ways back if you overdo it, but on the same note, you can have a lot of fun combining it with other mediums. Gilding wax always used to be sort of, you did it at the end. But now, I do it all sorts of different stages, depending on what effect I want. And we've got them on options for you at home, if you do want to get hold of them. Uh, you can get gold and copper together, which are great colours, or you can get the silver and the gold pearl. 999 is your item number if you want to go for those. And also, we've now got the candy shop ones, which is the three different colours. There's a pink, a green and a purple 
They oh, have. Oh, I want those. <laughs> they, ha mm, they taste. Well, not really tasty, but you know, they have um, different colours within them. So if I put a little bit of the purple on and I rub it, a pink comes through. And the green, not on this show, but on one of my later shows today, we're going to use the green to create moss. Oh, my Just goodness. Saying. Do you know what? I love those new colours. Very of the moment. Very on trend. Oh, well, you know, I like to say we started the trend, but no, just pure luck. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not trending, usually. I, I, I live out on my own. I'm, I am my own trend. Well, that's a good deal for the three, isn't it? $14.99. You get three. Those are your candy shop gleams. So they're the brand new colours. Um, and we'll be de demonstrating with some of those in the later show. What time are you on later, Ali? 2 o'clock. 2 p.m. So and 7 o'clock tonight. 7 o'clock tonight. So in between shows, when I finish here, I'm going to go and pick Hubby and the dogs up from home and take them to work. Um, what do the dogs do? Not very work. much. Do you know what? <laughs> work in Breeze, uh, they don't lift a paw around. <laughs> they don't lift a paw around the place. They'll never take the lead when it comes to work. Marvin's official thing is uh, alert us if couriers have dropped off. That's his official role. Oh. Um, right, so I've gone quite heavy handed in places, and some people go, oh, that might be too much. But this pink spray is a really nice, like a leveller, really, because what it does is it will pull all colours together. So if you've used two colours of gilding wax, let's add a bit of green just so we. Because I can, because I change my mind all the time. I was going to put some on the leaves, but they're not quite dry. So you sort of end up smearing, and that's not the effect I want. Because patience is a virtue that I don't happen to have. So, yeah, the mica spray, the pink one, is quite a subtle colour, but it adds an amazing warmth and just will react with the gilding waxes and bring them to life and help them spread around. It just gives a really nice effect so go so on this one I go really quite generous and, and you see how it's here it's starting to pool around and when you're close to it you can almost see it like dancing and shimmering as it reacts it really picks up the gilding wax and sort of moves it around and, s and mellows it a little bit but here you can see it's starting to pool and this is what I was saying about areas of flat that gives them because when you've got texture you're forcing the mica to go into the gullies but when you've got flat you can just let it you can see it running around so it is nice to let it dry naturally but I was going to say yeah but we're in the can, studio, so we will use a heat gun. But on the same note, you can you can start chasing it round yeah. and get patterns that way, and you'll see it dance and shimmer, and it is slightly. But what I wanted to show was here, where I'd sort of gone quite heavy-handed on the gold. Although the gold is still there, it's pulled some of it out and it's softened the edge. It's almost like blended the edge, so it's not as harsh. It's not as on and off now doesn't it yeah With the effect you can the, just the, the do you think there. this was just plain card i mean this uh, frame here the backboard of that is card you know just an old piece of cardboard and you can just have so much fun and rich almost like oil and water effects and i could do this all day but i'll be good and and say right i'll leave that one there to dry and then just find something i was thinking a nice monogram in the middle would be nice yeah that would be yes definitely you know as, as a housewarming present or what color would you have in the middle i would go that. gold yeah yeah that would that would stand and out. if you um if you take your monogram smear the acrylic glue on it leave it to dry then paint over it it will crackle a little bit and then when you rub the gold in you'll get gold crackle Wow. That's covered in one of the workshops. And that's just using the glue? Yeah. So each workshop has a different technique with the glue. That's amazing. Because I tried to, amazing. when we were putting the kits together, because this is, uh, you'll do this sort of thing with the sprays in the one with, with the colour sprays, the frames one. And I tried to incorporate, as, I'm very about teaching techniques. I want, once you've finished a project, it shouldn't be that that's it, the finished, you should have things to take into other areas. So each workshop has different techniques that you'll learn and you'll learn different ones. So if you buy all three, you're not going to get major repetition. 
you're going to learn different things or you'll take something and extend it that little bit further. And so. who knows, you might add your own technique to one of the techniques that Ali is showing us in the workshop. So it's something to explore, but then continue your journey. Yeah, it's about, my dad always used to say, learning is about lighting a fire, not filling a vessel. Oh, lighting a fire, not so filling... So a fire will go as far as it can. Yeah. A vessel can only be filled as much as it... I like that. Yeah. I might take that. It was, it was one of his words of wisdom. They it's a fire cool. to be lit, not a vessel to be filled. I like that. I like that. Um, Ali, thank you for that. Um, we're going to come back to Ali for some more demonstrations, but let's give you a reminder of these incredible kits and the price. My goodness. This is a workshop in your own home in your own home and you get all the elements to complete this fantastic project all the other projects we've got available for you we'll start with the first one right here absolutely love this steampunk and this has been the busiest one on the show and nearly a third of the stock has gone it's remarkable isn't it that you can build and create this incredible piece of artwork and I'm thinking it could be an alternative to the Oscars this could be an award for somebody. You get a little plaque and put their name. It does, it, it does feel like an award. Uh, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to leave it right there. But let me just take off this hat. This is how you put it together. All the details will be in your workshop that you get with Ali. So you can watch it again and again and again. You can pause it, rewind it if you want to. And then you will be able to start to put together the elements that come flat packed to you to create this amazing hat. You've got that incredible skull. This is how it starts its life, if I can say that. Uh, the detail is incredible to the teeth in there, even underneath. And the weight on it, a really good weight. You've then got the cogs in the kit, and you've got your fabulous, fabulous mediums to go with that as well. Everything you need to complete this particular piece of artwork and of course you'll have elements left over as well of your mediums to go on to another project if you want to. That's your first option everyone, 380062, that's your steampunk. Oh, the pirate treasure. Love this, absolutely love this. So, you've got the pirate, you've got that pirate bandana going over one eye, you've got the chest, you've got the treasure, and all of those fantastic elements telling that story. It's incredible, isn't it? The mediums that you get, again, you've got your gesso in there, you've got your gilding wax that's in there, you've got your glue as well. Um, all the elements placed together with instruction from that workshop on the DVD from Ali, and you will be able to turn that, that lovely piece of fabric, into something that goes over that skull that's set hard. Isn't that incredible? And that effect as well, the black and the gold, my word. Uh, what a great kit, £39.99, saving £10 and a penny, and nearly, how much, sorry? Nearly 20% of the stock has gone of the pirate. You're loving that. Why are you loving it? Because you are. And then, sorry, just twice, get it in twice, and then that's it, it's done. It's done. Let's go take a look. Uh, now, these aren't pieces of eight. They're pieces of pieces that we'll put together and create two amazing pieces of artwork. You've got your two frames in here. And if you like the look of the flowers and you're thinking, well, I, I can't see any flowers here. Well, here's the thing. You get the templates to make those flowers as many times as you like, as many times as you like, drawn by Ali created by you. 380062 is your item number. All of your elements, again, within this kit to put together, including the workshop, including the DVD right there. It's available on Flexibuy, as are all the kits for you. Uh, two payments of £20, 380062. Right, if you want some extras, remember you're going to have some mediums left over. If you like the look of the skull, if you like the look of the column, uh, then here we go. We have got some options for you. The skull, 9 dollars 60% of the stock has gone. 334342, if you want to go for that. You can multi-buy if you want to as well. Uh, you'll be absolutely amazed when you get this home. The weight is incredible. It's really, really good weight to it. Um, and then all of the detail in there that you can bring out with your different mediums. Um, and then you've got your ancient column just there. If you wanted to, you could put that on the top 
if you wish. Um, Ali has used one of our old dessert bowls to put on the top. You could put the skull on there. You could put anything you like, really. Uh, but if you do want to go for the column, 9 dollars 334 342 uh, 9 dollars for that, 9 dollars for your skull. Now, we've got some other elements and these come in sets of two so you could go for the two frames if you want to and the great thing about the frames you've got the back of the frame so you could put a picture in there and then that just places inside if you wanted to you could if you've got any of that mirror spray you could create a mirror that would be really cool would it not just to check yourself before you go out you know like the the Ooh. ladies used to have on the dressing tables yes you could put a handle underneath and then as Ali said you know like um, you could brush your hair or you could walk around like I've been doing here at Hochanda with a mirror um, because we have to social distance and the only person I can have near me is me so I've been walking around with a mirror so I can just chat to myself but pretending it's another yeah it's a long story it's not very interesting uh, so those two for you 14 99 and then you've got the fob watch the detail in this absolutely beautiful really is so you've got the details inside, the Roman numerals and the three hands. You've got the second hand as well. Well, there's three hands, but that's the second tick-tock. No, that's the second hand just there. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Um, how much of the stock has gone, lovely Lottie? Over a quarter of the stock has gone. You get two of those for £14.99. pence, And you've also got the hands. Well, we've got two. Two hands for you. Um, and these are the most popular and a third of the stock has gone. £14.99. pence. There is a freedom price on these, though, I do believe. So if you are a freedom member and um, there is a discount i think it's 13 pounds and 49 pence i do believe if i've remembered yay we uh right um one two one five eight seven microspace spray why can't i say that word today it's, it's not a spade i'm not at the allotment sorry micro sprays it's just mica oh do you know something i really ought to just go back to bed I should. Mica sprays. I have difficulty. You know that at home. Uh, £9.99. pence. Half the stock has gone. Ali, I think I better hand over back to you for now. Well, as you were mentioning Mica sprays, what was happening was you were putting the R in Mica That's and it. taking it out of spray. Yeah. You had a spare letter. Do you know, it's but quite I... ingenious of me, really. I know. You'd got it all the right letters. You just, you were doing countdown. That's what you were doing. I was. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you about, I was saying about the Mica sprays on the plaster so this column and you see how it's got that really dusky look that's from the mica sitting on the surface when the color soaks in wow. but I also wanted to show you my mermaid oh that's beautiful that's using the column as well that's using the column with a kid's doll on the top no way yeah. and our glue again that was that did have to set overnight because I was challenging our glue a lot there how did you do the hair got the glue ran it through her hair so it came and it was all beautifully you know little girl little girl's toy with beautiful hair and i put the glue on my fingers ran it through her hair and then scrunched it and you'll like this bit ran the heat tool over it which made it sort of shrivel a little bit in places and gave her because if you're swimming under the water all the time your hair's not going to be perfect no ali that is absolutely fantastic so that was my fun pace i've had a lot of fun doing these because i don't do much big dimensional stuff normally so That's to incredible. actually have sizable pieces it means that I mean I, I'm not sure people can see how big these these are they are yeah. I mean I don't have little hands but that's the size of the fob wow. watch. Wow. I think any grandchildren watching at the moment or any children are now running to their bedrooms to They're hide their hiding. dolls. <laughs> to hide them from their mums and their grandparents from making things like that. That's incredible, Ali. But that was a lot of fun to make. Right, so we're going to start with the fob watch and we're going to do a variation on this one. Okay, so we've got the fob watch there, but we're using the colour sprays that come left over from when you've done your frames. So you get a blue and a green because I love the, the reaction of those. Now these are ink sprays, so they don't need to be shaken up. Shook up, shake. But you can see when you spray, it soaks in. So although the colour's quite vibrant, when it gets onto your plaster, it's not as as vibrant and it will soak in. So you don't need to use gesso just straight on? No, just straight wow. on. Depending what look you're going mm. for. But on this, but look at that. 
and because the plaster is absorbent you don't get the, the, the same mottling you get on the paper notice I'm working on paper as well because then sometimes I get some really nice backgrounds out of that and also you can dip things into it so that's soaked in I'm then going to come in with the gilding wax so I just dip my my nice clean they were clean this morning finger in and then I scrape it off the side of the jar now in the class kit you get a whole jar of gilding wax that will last you an age so you get in the steampunk you get the gold pearl which gives it that nice creamy metallic -y look the pirate treasure you get gold and in the frames you get the copper so if you go for all three you will have a nice collection of gilding waxes to play with now Ali if you were to give a top tip because I'm thinking of myself here I sometimes go in a little heavy-handed and I look back on a project and think I think I've done too much there but I'm just watching how you're putting that on and it looks absolutely perfect right so because these are soft like a mousse when you put your finger in as you come up the side of the jar scrape off the excess but also remember being water-based so if I've done this and I oh no I've gone too heavy-handed you can either take a, an ink spray which is what I'm going to do in a minute to get the to react but if you don't want to alter the color just use water spray some water on that will help the gilding wax disperse that, that is that is very good it, so, it looks so effective doesn't it like there a little bit bit too much but in a minute when we but we're going to use I haven't decided I'm going to I'm going to change my mind in a minute I was going to come in with the green but I might actually use the pink from the mica sprays because I really like that as, a, as I say as a leveler so even though I've just used my mica sprays it will settle quite quickly so give it a little shake so the more you use your bottles the quicker they shake up but always make sure that it's all up from the bottom. And then just because I can, I'm going to bring a little bit of the green in so it will react. And this is where you can sort of <laughs> talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'm just I'm, having I'm, a little. <laughs> you know when you just moved uh, the actual fob itself, I'm just thinking that background. It could be like a moon or a planet or something. Well. We've also, home. one of the things that we've had to spend a lot of time on working out is how to post out the fob watches and the hands and things. So we actually have laser cut packaging. So you get a polystyrene fob watch frame oh when goodness. they arrive. And I'm thinking, oh, there's so many projects that are going to get done with the, with the, with the packaging. Yes. <laughs> oh, my word. So, yes. So think that you could actually incorporate that into a project as well, because I'm all for recycling, because we had to use something that meant that they would arrive nicely for you. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to turn that over for a minute, which will be creating loveliness underneath. So my fob watch, and because it's plaster, that's dry enough to handle already, but doesn't that have a lovely aged look now? So I want a bit of a background. So uh, where are we going? Somewhere in Wales. St David's in Wales. Pembrokeshire. Uh, no, we're up uh, Angle. This is Anglesey. Oh, okay. No, this is Anglesey, this side. Because there's Balmaris, which is where the half finished castle is. They never finished it. So I'm just cutting across the Menai Bridge at the moment. <laughs> As the crow flies. But these are out of date from a charity shop maps and they're just that they have such a nice feel to them obviously I wouldn't cut up a, a current one but you know what maps were notorious for getting tatty I mean you know there, there was it was instant dismissal if you folded a map wrong in our house so she has just folded that up wrong <laughs> so let's create a little a little plinth a little background for this to go on Again, using my glue. Let's have Kamar then there. Okay. Now, at the moment, the map is a bit too overpowering. 
I don't want the map is just a background I don't actually want that to be the main feature of this project so what we're going to do is we're going to use some gesso to tone it back a little bit so I'm just okay so my gesso and this will show how little gesso you actually ever need for a project so again although we've put smaller jars in the workshops that's still plenty for the project and you'll have some left over but on the same note if you've already got gesso you know you're, you're not getting something that you've already got now we've got far about five minutes left on this show Ali is going to be back with us at 2 p.m. today and 7 p.m. Uh, but we've got about five minutes left on this show, Ali, just to give you um, oh, a time yeah, check a time. on your time. So by just putting a thin coat on, see how it just, we can still see the map, but it's not overpowering. Okay. I want to create a border. So we're just going to run the glue. Do a blob in the corner. The blobs in the corner will make sense in a minute. Blob in the corner. And this is a technique that you will learn in the Pirate Treasure Workshop. So, by putting the glue out first, I've now got a trail I can lay my twine in. And I put a blob in the corner there because I want to introduce a, a little corner and so by putting the glue out first it means it started to dry and it will grab my string and not keep pinging off. Does the glue dry clear? It Alan? does but in the frames workshop we learn about one of the techniques you can do with excess glue and one of the effects it will create. Ooh. As I say Interesting. You know, the glue is, I, I mean, I love the glue. I use it for everything. Um, so you see that that's grabbing. I'm still having to occasionally just flip it back over, but there's a lot less um, hassle than normal. So in that goes. So that's created our frame. He's going to go there. So, our weird looking templates from the um, frames workshop. So again, this is something that you'll get in the workshop kit, but will go forever. And you get two different sizes so that you can make a real array of roses. Okay, round you go. And this was something you hand drew? Yes. Uh, well, what I did was I made one of my roses, dismantled it, laid it down on a piece of paper, drew round it. Hubby then had to trace it on the computer to program it into the lasers. Brilliant. And, and because we wanted, because I think the nicest roses I've done are where they're freehand cut. So we wanted that. To, but not everybody has the confidence to freehand cut, so we wanted to incorporate that so that if people haven't got the confidence, or if you're doing these workshops with, um, with people that have never crafted before, this has got everything in. Although two of the kits have a little bit of embossing powder in, it's a small part of the kit, it's a small technique, so if they don't have a heat gun, it doesn't affect the overall effect at the end. You can just use the gilding wax. And I cover that in the workshop so that I say, you know, if you have got a heat gun, great, you can do this. But if you don't, it's not going to spoil the project. So don't mm. think, oh, I've got to go out and buy tools. The only tool you'll need is um, for this a pair of scissors. If you've got a heat tool, great, but it's not the end of the world. A sponge or a paintbrush. That's Perfect. it. Perfect. And that's it. Everything else is in the kits. And to be fair, most people have got those sponges. Maybe. In our house, not many because I've cut them all up. <laughs> <laughs> but readily available perhaps from your local shop if you yeah. need. Okay. I, I do need to tell you, Ali, that the steampunk option of your kits nearly 
40% of the stock has gone. Busy show this morning. So all I've done is rolled the rows and then I'm going to add that to there. And then I've got some other shop-bought flowers which I'm going to st start adding round. And then I've got a little saying that says, we are all time travellers, memories take us back, dreams take us forward. Oh, I like um, the sponge in the bottom right corner. I think that, that's a good touch. Uh, you think that, yeah. I well, can see that. You see, if I wanted to have some moss in the bottom corner... There you go, you I see? could just trim this like that and, and add that as some, uh, some lichen. I knew that. They get they, they sneak in all over they the place. Do. There is that a running is... joke that they will sneak in all over I the place. I love that. Um, right, we're down to the last 30 seconds of the show. Ali, thank you so much <laughs> for your demonstrations. Thank you. I could just, I, I'm mesmerised every time you come into the studio with what you do because you explain it so perfectly and it's easy to understand and that's exactly the same on those workshops as well with each of your kids. We'll see you again at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Um, off to pick up Hubby and the dogs. Hubby and, and the dogs, yeah. Do all that and then coming back. I might have to wake them up. You know that, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, right, stay where you are, though, because we've got more. But do check out your baskets, everyone. Something very satisfying about watching that, isn't there? And something very satisfying about the shows we've got coming up. Fabric Freedom, Fabric Street, Artisan Design, and then back with you one day special. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We were both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie's particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Add Some Sparkle produce paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. The future for Adson Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Adson Sparkler shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. 
So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on her channel. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Yes, indeed. Good morning. How are we all, my little viewer? Yes, another hour. Thank you, Janice, for the last hour. Very, very busy with our alley. But if you are joining me now, as you can see from the TV behind me, it is Fabric Freedom, which means it is our fabric hour. Now, uh, what? Well, we've got some lines we've got coming up down this counter. We have that much on this show, uh, we couldn't fit it all out. Okay, so that's how much you've done the show. The quickest and easiest thing to do would be jump to the website, tap the app, and really do shop ahead of me on these as well, if I was you. Uh, we've also got limited editions on the show as well. So the next one, two, three, four, five that you're about to see are brand new today, and they're limited edition. Okay? So I would get in quick with these, because the prices that you're paying for these, some of them are absolutely ridiculous for the amounts that you're getting. Right then, let's kick straight off with item number one on the show, uh, 827713 is your item number. This is your petunia that we're looking at now. You're getting 160 centimetres, uh, which is um, 63 inches. Now, this first colour that you're looking at at the moment, this is Dove. Ooh, Dove, look at that. Let me open, let me just move that back. That is your, that is your Dove just there. Our Jimmy's loving it in the gallery. Um, we've also got the one and only, she'll be with us very shortly, yes indeed, I've not seen her for months and I'm, deep down, I'd never admit it to her face, I never would, deep down, I slightly miss her, I do, my partner in crime, knee hopper, knee high to a grasshopper, bless her, uh, what she's just doing at the moment is that she's just trying to find a ladder so she can get up to her laptop, because so far it's only head height. So the minute she gets a step ladder, she'll climb up it and we'll be able to see her full face rather than just seeing her forehead, bless her. Uh, so the minute she gets that step ladder, we'll, um, we'll tune straight in. Um, right then, we've got the dove up next. Oh, look at this. Look at the bits. This is the Bordeaux that we have here as well. Oh, look at the, look at the richness of the Bordeaux that we already have. That is beautiful. It works well with the dove as well because you've got the sort of the, the Bordeaux colours that's already in the dove that's there. So they do work really well together. Look at the colourways. Look at the deep richness, the blues, the reds that you've got in there. Those fuchsia pinks. That's, well, not fuchsia pinks, just pink. Uh, the pink that you've got in there as well. Uh, for £11.99. And, and then, oh, the Capri Breeze. I used to love drinking them as a kid. Um, the Capri Breeze, look at that, that blue, the rich blue. As you can see, this sort of pattern's very on trend at the moment as well. Very, very on trend. Uh, 11, I'd like a shirt made, especially of the Dove. I'd love a shirt made of the Dove as well. Uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, 827713 is your item number for these now. Oh, I can see a little face in the corner of a screen already. Um, we're just queuing her all up and then, let don't you think it's been a little quieter without her around? Do you know? Do you not think it's been a little, it's been a little quiet 
it's been it's been quite mellow around her Chanda Towers and it's all about to change. Uh, we have said if you've got any questions for our Hayley as well please do get them in studio uh, to Chanda.com. Remember all these are limited editions of what we're talking about at the moment as well. So this is your first option. Your second option that we're looking at at the moment this is the flare. Well, wow, look at the flare. What, what colour do you want to start with, Ross? The mustard? Let's start with the mustard colour first. I'll fold all these back so you can get a good look for you as well. Uh, look at the tones that you're getting in there as well. So you sort of get that sort of check, checkerboard sort of hesiden. Hesiden? Hessian. That's the word I was looking for, Matthew. Uh, you've got Hessian as well in there. Uh, love this. This is So this is the Shilon she, White. That could have been anything, but come on then. Um, this is the beautiful, beautiful, check the names on the website. Uh, Shilon, Shilon? Well, we'll ask her Hayley when we speak to her, because we're probably saying it wrong. Is she there? Oh, bring, bring her in. <laughs> oh, you can just put me in that little screen, look. How are, you, how are you, my love? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Just so Jimmy knows, my director, I can't hear Hayley in the studio. I can only hear through oh. echoes in my earpiece. Um, so, I can still hear you though, Hayley, my love. Are you well? I'm very well, thank you. I was down there uh, last weekend and oh. now back up here for a bit, just trying to do kind of um, blocks when I come down, which is a little bit easier. Oh, I've missed you terribly. Have you? Terrible. There's actually a lady on Facebook who um, said that she missed us bickering. You and me and me and Yanis just bickering. He always gets his That's name in somewhere, doesn't he? <laughs> he always manages to get in on my shows. That little Yanis. <laughs> um, right yeah. I'll, I'll, find, I'll try and find out who it was, but there was a lady on Facebook who said that she missed the bickering. All right. Why I've got you here um, and why we've yeah. got you online, is this the shop that you're in, by the way? Uh, no, this is the office. It's pretty messy, I'm not going to lie, oh. uh, because we've been kind of trying to sort stuff out as we've been going. But, um, yeah, it is a bit chaotic at the minute. <laughs> oh, it looks rather nice. I, I like quite like the things behind you, a bit of proggy behind oh, you there. Oh, a bit of proggy. Uh, yes, you, you, we know you're good at proggy now, though. Oh, this lockdown. I've got a whole suit made out of proggy. <laughs> I won't show you what I'm wearing <laughs> underneath this shirt. Now, little proggy vest. Now, remember, everyone, Hayley is live. Yes, it's really her via Skype. Oh, I know, it's not a VT, this is live. Um, we're talking limited, uh, limit, well, we're talking fabrics, first of all. And we're also talking yes. limited edition fabrics as well. Um, why, can you tell me, first of all, a bit about the fabrics and why are they so limited edition? Is there only a few? Can we only get our hands on a few? Yeah, I think we can only get our hands on a few. And also, they're a special width as well, because if you have a look on there, they're 160 width. Now, usually fabrics come in at 45 inch, which is about 112 centimetres, a 54 inch, which is about 134 centimetres, and then a 60 inch, which is 150 centimetres. So these are kind of extra wide, that little bit extra width, which means they're brilliant for quilting and things. That's, that, well, that's good. It's good to know those sorts of things as well, because if you're a recorder, uh, they are limited edition as well. I'm going to ask it outright. Is it a case of once they've gone, they have gone? That's what I'm trying to find out. I have I have text the question and I have not had an answer yet. So I am trying to find out for you. But as soon as I know, you'll know. So as soon as we know. <laughs> so let's take it as once they've gone, they've gone. Because obviously if they're limited edition, okay. normally... That would mean well, once yeah, they've that, gone, they've gone. Yeah, that would be the case. So um, I am double checking just to make sure, but uh, I, I think that when they're gone, they're gone. And these are a beautiful uh, blender option because these have, uh, it's a Ceylon, which is what you were struggling with before. It's uh, Ceylon and white. So um, you've got beautiful colours there and they're really useful as blender fabrics. And with that extra little bit of width, oh, that's it, take the tape off. Good work. Um, <laughs> take the stickers off, take the tape off. Um, they're really, really good for um, using as backings. And it's got that kind of hessian effect, kind of kind of that wide weave look to it, which is really nice and really, really good if you're wanting to actually quilt over the top of them. You can follow the lines that are within the pattern itself. Which are beautiful. And there's so many, as you just said as well, I'm sure you just said it, uh, we're having troubles with sound here in the studio, but I can, I oh, can hear you briefly. 
I can hear you in my earpiece. Uh, they are working, they do all work, all these limited editions work beautifully together as a whole, not yes. just in the bundles that we've got them in, but they work on the whole whole together as well, don't they? I mean, just taking those two salon options, the first two that you've got there, and maybe adding a white or something to them, then that's a, that's a whole thing in its, its own right. Oh, that goes nicely with the last one, doesn't it? They are indeed. Oh, if you only could see what was going on in the studio, there's men everywhere. I've never seen people running around Ooh. this building so quick. Oh, you'd love it. <laughs> now... Aye, aye. Well, <laughs> our Matthew's cock tonight. Now, you'd love it. Uh, oh, no, he has. He's, he's running. He's got a sweat on. I've never seen him work so hard. We're moving down the counter. I'm going to keep you with me, though, Hayley, my love. Okay. Uh, you're going to stay I'll with stay me because it's just me in the studio. and I'm. I'll I'm I'm lonely. Well, we're going to go move on, though. We're moving on to open this. It, now, the easiest way to describe now. the board on this is a bit like chicken wire. It is a honeycomb, like a squashed honeycomb. Yes. Slash chicken wire. Well, it's, yeah, sort of <laughs> squished chicken wire in. Uh, but once again, three beautiful <laughs> colours that we've got here. I know. And, I mean, either of those two would work really well with the grey. Or why not use all three together? Because even that kind of mustardy colour with the kind of light teal, they, all three of those go beautifully together. Nice. And if you notice, it's all the same, um, uh, they're, they're all the same colourways. So you can easily pick and mix these with the previous three that you saw. Yeah, if I bring out this one, so once again, look, they all work with the colourways of the previous one and of the first one we saw as well. So they all work lovingly together, which I think is beautiful. Uh, but as you said though, Hayley, the things like cushions, the things like blinds, even the simple things like door stops and things like that, little memory bags, these are, this would be amazing for, because it is, it's beautiful fabric to um, play with, it's like it's tactile wise. Is it easy to sew with? Yeah, they're a, a quilting cotton, so they've got a really nice weight to them. They, when you cut them, they hold the shape really well, so it's really, really easy to sew with them. Which is amazing to do. Right then, uh, your details for these ones. You've got your three colourways. 493168 is your item number. £11.99 is what we're looking at as well. Are it's... you still having the oh. I'm Look. the... oh, I like it. Oh, I'm loving this. Right then, if I gander around this way. That's so <laughs> love it. Hayley, my look. I can oh. catch you now with everything. I need to... Which way do I need to look? That way? Other way, no, other the other way. way. That's... Oh, it's That's... like having you here. There we go. <laughs> I'm very good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good, just looking straight out the window. <laughs> I've never seen you at this height. <laughs> I know, in fact, I'm nearly the same size now. <laughs> There's a first for everything. Um, <laughs> Right, I better crack on before we get told off. Uh, so we're moving on. This is um, now this one. Once again, it's sort of like the honeycomb look that we've got on this one. Yeah, really, really beautiful. And I think all of these prints that we've brought you are kind of ones that would easily go for masculine or feminine looks. And all of those will tie again with the ones that you've already seen. So the grey will work beautifully with that. The um, kind of tealy colour will work in as well. The Ceylon yellow. All of those are going to work beautifully. They work well beautifully as well. The so, details are on screen. You've got fig red there. You've got green and that beautiful sort of mustard yellow. That very on trend. This colour is at the moment as well. Very very big. Uh, once again, twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. You're getting once again. You get an awful lot of material. Uh, the second time around, I'll open these out so you can see how much you're actually getting. Uh, Seven three zero two three eight is your item number for these as well. Uh, and last but no means least. This is our brand new Ooh, limited see. edition. I'm liking this as well. So we've seen the honeycomb. Oh, look at these. It's like a big waffle check, that one. It's um it's from a distance, it looks like a like a big um kind of crisscross grid, but then when you get much closer, you see there's a lot more detail in there, and it's actually little circles and diamonds. When you looked at it from further away, it just looked like a big check. And again, all of those colours matching with the previous ones. You can these are good enough to be feature fabrics on their own. But if you want to mix and match them in with the other ones that you've seen, you can absolutely do that. They're all from the same kind of dye range, and they will all match perfectly. 
They really do. The details are on the screen. £12.99, 745147 is your item number. Right then, so they're all our limited editions. What we're going to do is I'm going to take you down the rest of the counter uh, to go. I know. We're going to let you. We're going to love you and leave you. And <laughs> um, we'll, we'll call you back later. Okay. Uh, no and problem. then we'll bring you back. I will see you soon. Oh, bless her. Um, just so you know, I didn't hear a word of what she said. So, um, I could hear her fine in the studio. I just turned her down. No, not really. I couldn't. I, I genuinely couldn't hear what she was saying. So I hope you all got that at home. Uh, and I hope and I hope it all made sense. My questions back and forth. I only sort of heard end of sentences. Uh, right then. So there are all your limited editions that we've got now as well. So we've seen all your limited edition items. Uh, I'd get in quick then. We're very busy across the board with them as well. Right then, we're moving on now. Now, these are, once again, there's something about fabric shows I love doing because you can get, you can tell so much from a fabric uh, and you can do so much with a fabric as well. Any of the soft furnishings around your house, you can change quite quickly by just changing the fabric that you actually use. Now, you've got two options here. We've got that beautiful red and we've also got the black as well. 795. 462 is your item number. £11.99. You're getting a metre by 112 centimetres on this each. They're big old panels of what you're getting. Uh, now, personally, I personally like the red in this because it's that vo vibrant red colour. But I was thinking you could use the black if you've got some glow in the dark pens or glow in the dark fabric paints. You could go around all the stars on these if you're going to do like a little roller blind or you're going to make a little pillow or a little duvet cover uh, you could go around all stuff they'll glisten of a night and they'll glow in the dark of an evening as well which i think would be absolutely beautiful uh, should we open one of these out let's open it out to show you getting uh, we are half the stock of these have gone already and we haven't got massive stocks of these look at that though uh, for a lovely little panel that you're getting there and all those stars in there and the little spots in there as well the little polka dot spots that you've already got in there uh, it is absolutely beautiful 795462 is your item number we've got music now and everything i'm loving this studio uh, so <laughs> oh there's all sorts going on um i don't know i don't know what's going on here we've got music blaring one minute and Oh, live television, eh? Live sound effects. We'll all do our... Well, our Jimmy makes his own, but we won't go into that now. Uh, stars are what we're talking about. £11.99. 795462 is your item number for these. Right then, we're moving on. Now, these are different, OK? So there's two different colourways that you've got here. Uh, let's look at this one first. You've sort of got the oranges in this one, then you've also got the pinks in this one. So they are two different fabrics. So this is the first uh, one we're looking at at the moment. This would look amazing in a sort of like a kitchen environment. Because um, it does look like fruit and veg. You've got things like mushrooms. Uh, whereabouts are you? Uh, you've got like mushrooms in here. Uh, these could be um, aubergines. They could be avocados, or, uh, oranges peppers, courgettes in there, little bell tomatoes. Uh, there could be so much that you're getting in there. Or it could just be a beautiful set of flowers. It all depends on how your eyes see it. So this is the orange, and then you've also got the pink as well. Are they called orange and pink, Ross? Are oh, you getting both of them? Oh, pink and red is what you're getting. And you're getting both of these now. Uh, set Oh, yeah, set two. Set two there, Adam. 100% uh, cotton fabric. Uh, so you're getting both of these colourways now. Well, once again, you're getting even more of those. You're getting two metres, um, which is amazing value. For £9.99. Uh, wow, look at that. Fronts and backs, maybe. Maybe use it for your cushions. Uh, as I said, I'm very big on the little door stops at the moment as well. Sort of interior design because if you go for a plain colour around your room fabrics like this can really brighten and lighten a room and it can really bring things in and now has the moment we've gone white we're white everywhere because it was easier to paint and i didn't have to worry about it uh, so some ceilings to walls to coving it's all white and then we just bring it is everything is white and then we just bring a hint of colour in so we've got like, the odd grey wall and the odd grey panel that we've done and uh, it's the sort of big squares in the middle of the wall and the only reason they're in the middle of the wall is because i really couldn't be bothered to mask up and cut in 
So I put tape all the way around it, and now we've got a beautiful border. Uh, but you're getting both of these as well. So if you maybe stretch these over a big canvas, to have them as a large canvas piece would be nice. Nine pounds, 99 pence, 205, 816 is your item number here. Right then, next up. Now, there's two different colours, but look how much you're getting. This is the hot pink that we've got out at the moment. Now, you get all of this. You're getting all these pieces of material that you're seeing. I'll open one out so you can see how much you're getting as well on each. Uh, so, this is what you're getting on each of them. So, a strip long, as long as this, but you are, you're getting an awful lot of them as well. You're getting four in your pack. Uh, four times 0 0.5 metres, 100% cotton poplin in itself, in the hot pink and the dusky as well. So, this is your hot pink. I was confused, so the sheer fact, the picture that we've got is different to what I've got in the studio. Because so I've got two sets in the studio. Uh, so, I've got a bright and then I've got a dusky as well. So these are, these are your brights and then from then on in, they are your dusky. Okay, so these are your dusky. The dusky pinks that we've got on here, they are, if you look on the website, the website shows shows a green colour. Uh, but these are the dusky pinks that we're looking at at the moment. So you've got the same type, so you've got the plain, you've got the zigzags, you've got the stripes, and you've also got the small spots and stars as well. That would work as well uh, with this one, those small stars and stripes would work wonders. Uh, for your black, for your small black that you've also got on there. Uh, but maybe you want to go for that bit of hot pink. So we've also got hot pink on the show as well. So this is your hot pink, sort of that vibrant fuchsia pink that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, you can see the colour difference in these now as well. If you take the stars and the stripes that are also on here, once again, absolutely beautiful set for £12.99. pence. Uh, five four six nine eight seven is your item number. We're very busy for these. Most people are going for the hot pink, uh, adding that touch of colour. Once again, beautiful in like a little girl's bedroom maybe, maybe you want it in your own bedroom, just that hint of colour. Maybe you're going to use it as a little makeup bag maybe as well. Um, let me know what you use yours for. So if you are placing orders at the moment, uh, let me know what you're using them for. Uh, drop me an email, studio to channel.com. If, if you're phoning us, which you're more than welcome to, um, tell the call centre, say, oh, I'm just using this, and then they'll call us. I'll drop us an email for you. I'll just say, I can't do the email. Can you just tell Adam I'm going to make a beautiful bag out of this? Or a, a nice seat cover for my garden chairs outside. Is it nice outside, do we know? Do it, is, it, does, uh, is the sun shining? No one knows. None of, none of us have been out. I, I arrived at half five this morning. Don't know. Oh, clear skies, according to our weatherman, Jimmy. It's quite sunny outside, which would be nice. It's a lovely day. So maybe you are making your um, seat covers. What a nice little pop for a seat cover. That would be a large uh, seat cover. You know, like love seats you can get. Have you ever sat on a love seat, Matt? You know, the one where they face each other. So one sits one way, the other one sits the other way, and you have a little table in the middle. No, you've never sat on a love seat? Oh, you're missing out. Have you? Well, you know what? I do every now and then. I was peering over the fence, you know, as you water the plants of an evening. I was there in a dressing gown, shorts on, watering the plants the other day. We oh, wow, you've got to, in you? this hot weather, all my plants are wilting. You want to see my busy Lizzie? Oh, my busy Lizzie. It's drooped. Drooped. Anyway, I was saying, talking about a love seat, it reminded me, Rough Roger, Secretary Steve, they were sitting there, little cocktails in hand, little pina colada he had in his hand. Oh, no, I waved three doors down. Oh, then she was out, wasn't she? Barbara Oldcock. Oh, I can't stand her. Anyway, I digress. Uh, fabric is what we're talking about. £16 and 99 pence. 389 294. Now, this time, oh, look at the colourways that you're getting here. You're getting all three of these. Okay, ignore the shirt. That's mine. That's presenter's own. Uh, but you are getting all three of these as well. These are beautiful, beautiful fabrics. So you've got the beautiful black that you're looking at at the moment. We've sort of looked at the blue, and then you've got that beautiful brown at the top. I'm loving this brown colour. Uh, once again, very on trend at the moment as well. Let me open one of these out for you so you can see how much you're actually getting of the fabric. Uh, once again, 100% cotton is what we're talking about as well. And obviously yours won't come with a sticker on. Uh, let me take the sticker off for you. There we go. Uh, but look at look how much 
you are getting here. Absolutely beautiful. That is a that is a nice bit of fabric, isn't it? I'm loving these. Absolutely loving them. Uh, maybe a spice. Because these are sort of the mellow tones, so these are sort of things you could get away with in sort of like a little conservatory or in a little lounge. Maybe you're going to make a little table runner, a set of placemats. Um, you've been shopping on the mill shop online, got a bit of um, fabric, a uh, bit of webbing, a bit of, bit of fuser web as it were. Uh, you can start making your heat proof mats out of these as well. Just to, just to add that pot of colour around the home, we've all been, uh, as you all well know, we've all been stuck in the home for a very long time and you've probably... You've probably been about, you've probably de decorated or you've changed or you've moved furniture around now and you're sort of right, right, I've, I've got nothing else to do. But maybe it's just that one bit that you don't know what to do, that old chair that's looking, that ruins the room. As I said before, a fabric is a good way of changing uh, everything up and just creating a brand new look. Um, you can very easily done it as well. £16.99 for all three of these. 389294 is your item number for all three colourways that we've got here. Uh, last but no means least that I've got on my counter, uh, but there's many more on the show as well, jump on the website, is the leaves is what we're looking at now. Now, once again, you're getting all three colourways for these leaves as well. So you get the leaves in the green, the leaves in the red, and you also get, once again, I told you it's a very big colour at the moment, this mustard colour. Um, you'll, it's, it's everywhere. Well, it was before all the shops closed. Uh, it was everywhere. They're like every, every piece of clothing I saw had this mustard in it. Um, now I'm shopping online, everything is mustard as well. Uh, once again, it would work wonders with the limited editions that we've got on the show as well. £16.97. 881206 is your item number for these as well. Now remember, if you are spending over that £30 mark on your fabric today and you purchased something from yesterday, you can take that £5 voucher. Remember, if you're buying anything today, so maybe you only bought these today for £16.97, tomorrow we will credit you with £5 into your online account. Okay, so then you can buy something tomorrow with worth over that value of £30. It's worth doing. Uh, it's one per household as well. Terms and conditions are on the website. And we've also got that flexible payments. Go over £60. Not only do you get that five pounds off, you can also start splitting it onto your flexible payments as well. But you know what? Save me telling you about it. Is Ali only to tell you everything you need to know? Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Yes, indeed. That is FlexiPay. Spend over that £60 mark and we are good to go. Go. Uh, then you can speak that use that flexible basket. Remember, we're also in summer savers as well. So anything you purchase today will pop five pounds in your credit tomorrow as well. It's worth having a little look on this. Uh, right then, here we go again. We're going to go have another little look. We've already had. Um, I know my producer and director are very busy, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, we've already had a sell out on the show. Remember the stars I showed you uh, in red and black? They have now sold out. They have now gone. Okay, uh, so as I said, it, it might not seem like a busy show because we're just sauntering along and we're having a little chin wag as we do, but things are, people are there, they're buying constantly all the time. Uh, so please do, just because I'm not giving you updates constantly, we are very, very busy at the moment. The website is the best place to go. Or if you're on the move, when I say on the move, maybe you're going from your kitchen to your garden, uh, you can tap the app and you can watch us online as well. Uh, you have to be so careful what you say these days. Um, you really do. Uh, but you know what I mean. I'm only jesting and I'm only joking. I mean, I take nothing, se no, take nothing too seriously. Right then, 
my little viewer. Should we have a look at these again in more detail? I'll open them out this time as well. Uh, right then, we've got the first three colours is what we're looking at first. These three just here. Now they come individually. £11.99 for an individual price. Let's open one out to see how much you're getting. Let's open this blue out that we're going to open at the moment. Um, look, oh my word. Look how much you are getting here. That is beautiful. It's only me. Um, I can now see, obviously yours won't come with the tape on, this is just comes straight out of the factory. Um, I, but I can now see maybe a little pair of dungarees for a little, for a little, for a little child. Um, I've got to stop saying, I've got to stop talking about Derek. People would talk. Um, but yes, you could make dungarees for our little Derek if you wanted to. Oh, bless him. Um, you could though. But I was thinking any, like a, any children's wear, because it's lightweight, it's 100% it's glass is what we're talking about. So we know we're talking, we're talking quality. But you could make children's clothes out of this. I don't know if you're like me and um, watch every Wednesday, 9 o'clock, the Great British Sewing Bee. Love it. Love it. Uh, but you can start, you know, that's where you get your ideas from. So with these, you could really start making sort of a beach bag. A beach bag out of these would be lovely because you've got, it's got that good weight to it as well uh, that you could fold up and pop into a suitcase if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. But as you can see, look, so it folds up beautifully. So it does all fold away. Um, and you're going to be really the only one of these. This is limited edition. Now, we've got the three callways uh, that we've got. You've got your Dove. You've got your Bordeaux. And then you've also got your beautiful blue that's also on here as well. £11.99. 827713 is your item number for these. Uh, very, very busy on this limited edition as well, is what we are. Uh, Capri Breeze, that's the one you're looking at at the moment. That lovely breeze. But once again, as you can see, they all really do well work together. You've got the Bordeaux and you've got the Dove as well. In the Bordeaux, you've got the blue of the flowers in the Bordeaux that matches with the Caprice. And then you've also got the, the pink and the red that matches with the Bordeaux. So as you said, they all work well together. And they're brand new today as well. Uh, brand new colorways is what we are looking at here. Uh, jump in while you can. The details are now on the screen. Right then. Let's move down to the next set that we've got. Now, once again, these are the flare. Now, for me, personally, these would be like a backing fabric on something. I would go for that large, striking image first, um, like the ones you've just seen. And then I would use these for sort of the backing fabrics as well. They do really mix and match really well. So you've got that beautiful mustard in here again. I don't think it's called mustard, but you've got that mustard in there. Uh, then you've sort of got that other one as well. So it's sort of the other way around. I don't know if you can see. So you get the mustard on the one and then it's the opposite way around. So these would work really well together. Really, really well. Uh, but then on the back of that, you've got that lighter one here as well. So you've got that lighter one, sort of a hessian look that we're looking at at the moment. And then you've sort of got that. You could say it's like a duck egg. Okay, it's saying um, soothing seas, but for me that's not really a colour. I'm, I'm just saying it as it, I want you to get these home and go, well, that's not the colour he said. It's more like a duck egg. Um, I don't know what colour you'd call soothing seas. If you went into a paint shop and said, can I have soothing seas, they could give you anything. Um, could give you a cream. Uh, but, oh, I've got soothing seas. Oh, and me, I had, a, <laughs> I had Teddy Salvo once week. Uh, but, um, Yes, yeah, so it's like a, you've got your duck egg, you saw you've got your oatmeal in there. You've sort of got so your cream and your mustard in this one. It's, it's, basically, it's the inverted version of your other one, okay? So I really don't want you to get them home and think, well, that's not the colour I was buying into. That's not what I'm here for. Um, I want you to get home and be happy, and I want you to get our things home, and I want you to enjoy everything that you're using. So I'd rather give you, whether it's the right or wrong terminology, um, I will take the flack for that. But I'd rather you get them home and you enjoy them. Uh, the mustard in colour, this one at the moment, is the most popular. Half the stock here has now already gone, and I really can see why. I'm just going to bring one in from the next one, um, but just so you can see how they all match. So this is like the little chicken wire uh, one that we will look at next. I'll bring up the details shortly. Do not fear. I just want to show you how well they match together. Uh, mustard is very, very in at the moment. Um, I've got a lovely, and it go, works with nice skin tones as well. So if you are making clothes out of it, it does work really work well with a nice tan 
um, or with anything really. I just think it's a vibrant colour that not many people are scared to wear. Really do go for it. It will lift the house. Uh, right then. Oh, it went off on one then, didn't I? I was, I was there. I was in the zone. It was like Gok Wan. Um, 574165 is your item number. £11.99. Right then. Let's jump on to our chicken wire. And that's the only way I can describe it for you. Uh, this is really, really bugging me. That's the other way around. Uh, but uh, you've got two greys and then you've got this one. But it just shows that the pattern can go either way as well. You've got that beautiful dove grey that's here as well. I don't know if it's called what um, a moon grey. <sighs> moon grey that we've got here. Dove grey. It's your, it's your standard elephant grey. Okay. Uh, once again, beautiful work that's on there. It sort of reminds me of sort of the blockbusters squares that are on there, sort of the hexagons that you've got on there as well. Uh, then we've also got, oh, this is, this one is once again sort of your tealy colours, uh, but I think we've called it Canton. We'll go with, we'll go with that because I, I can keep my job with that one. Uh, Canton. Um, which I which I love as well. But it's a teal, okay? So it is a teal that you're looking at. And then last but no means least, uh, you've got your mustard. Let's see. Uh, it's your silon. Oh, very French. Silon. Uh, silon. Uh, basically, it's mustard. This is what you're getting, okay? Uh, once again, if you're unsure of the names, you're thinking, well, Adam, I'm saying mustard on the telly box, but I can't see anything called mustard. If you jump to the website, um, you can see the pictures along with the names as well, so you know what you're getting. Okay, uh, so we're very, very, very busy. And if you are ringing us as well, oh, Moon Grey, this one, Moon Grey sold out. We were just chatting away. But that just slipped away, didn't it? Slipped, slipped through, slipped through our fingers. Are you ready for this, Matthew? Now, I can only apologize. I don't normally throw because uh, I throw like a girl, but uh, my counter's quite busy, so I've got nowhere to put it. Uh, well done, well catched. Uh, but, because um, we normally just leave it on side, but I don't like him getting too close. Uh, so, <laughs> nothing to do with the distance rule, I just, you know. Uh, a lovely boy, very good to his mother. Now, you are, Matthew, you, you, are, you, work, you do work, you're like a workhorse. You don't get enough credit, these floor managers. They set all this up, we just saunter in, saunter out, they do everything. You are, very good. Uh, you all are. Uh, we'll be lost later. Anyway, I digress. They're very good. They know they are. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Four nine three one six eight. Don't shake your head. You are. Uh, one six eight is your item number for these as well. Uh, very busy. Said we already had one sellout and thing. Well, we've had two sellouts this hour already. The stars have now gone. The dove now gone. Very busy for these as well. Uh, we've got two more that are limited edition on the shows as well. These are your honeycombs. First of all, let's start with your red first. Uh, this is your fig red. Uh, you've got your fig redders here as well. Uh, more, once again, I'll take the wrath for it, but it's more like an orange. Okay, so it's more like, I would go for, a, it's more orange to me uh, than an actual red. I can show you this, because if I bring in this, that's red. Okay, that's red, as you can see. It's more of an orange, and I would normally say, well, the TV changes it, it doesn't. That's what it's in real life as well. So that is more of sort of your burnt, your burnt orange. It's not a vibrant red, in my personal opinion. Uh, it's not that vibrant, but it is a beautiful fabric. Either way, sort of that beautiful colourway that you've got on there. Um, I love this one as well. These together, look how striking that looks. Uh, this is your green. Once again, more of a tea. Well, no, I'll give them the green on that. It's more of a seaweed green. Um, it, what's it called? Oh, just green. Um, just green. And then, last but no means least, oh, silon yellow. I reckon that is, must be a colour. It's got to be. We wouldn't have made this up. Uh, but it is. It's not really your yellow, yellow, okay? It's more of your mustard that you've got on there as well. Uh, 12 pounds and 99 pence on these. Love the colourways that we've got here. For 12.99, once again, you're getting a lot of fabric for your money. Uh, 730238 is your item number on these as well. Uh, up next, <coughs> excuse me, uh, our last one in the collection, which is limited edition. 
that we've got on here as well. Um, we've now also got, uh, I'm giggling because I've, I've now got the Skype lady talking to me uh, in the studio. Uh, so I've, if you only knew what was going on while I was trying. Uh, so, uh, we're coming up to our last limited edition that we've got here. As well. We all looked at each other, me and Matthew looked at each other and went, well, where's this woman hiding? Because I can't, I can't see anyone, there's only two of us here. And it was coming through the speaker. Uh, right then, the last but no means least, the colours that we've got on here now. Once again, match beautifully with the honeycomb, same colourways as the honeycomb. I think red, green and ceylon yellow. Once again, you saw that burnt orange look I would go for. Uh, you've also got that green in the middle, so you see we green, but this time you've got the blue added in as well. So you've got that beautiful blue, more of the blue than you have in the honeycomb, and you have that beautiful mustard colour as well with the little diamonds. Once again, use strips, use panels. Um, if it was me, who is this sort of fabric, for me, that's far too busy for my personal self. I would use strips of these, of uh, different colours, and then interweave the strips to make like, sort of a weaved coloured uh, front of a cushion, which I think would look beautiful. Um, really, you go to town on these as well. Uh, cut into them, use them as strips, use them as panels, because you've got those beautiful circles. Uh, it's like piping that you've got down there as well. £12.99, 745147 is your item number. £12.99. They are all limited edition. Everything that you've just seen is limited edition we're getting once it's gone it has gone what we're going for right then some other things that we've got on the show now i haven't got everything out on the counter all right um for the sheer fact that there's far too much to get out but already half the stock of this has now already gone now you're getting both of them Okay, so you're getting both colourways. You've got the pinks in there and you've got the reds in there as well. Now, your main colourways, as you can sort of tell, come from these main splodges that are here. Technical word. Uh, but that could, be, that could be like an apple core with a pip in the middle. It could be oranges that you see on there. I can see sort of uh, artichokes on there. You can see... There could be anything on there. Runner beans. That, it could be a runner bean. Where am I looking now? Olives, yes. Yes, I can see olives now. With a pip in them. Yes, it could be a little olive. Could be garlic. Here, look, could be a mushroom. Uh, this could be garlic as well. You've got oranges on there. This one could be a green pea. You know, um, we shell runner bean, like little ones that you shell yourself. Uh, this could be this could be a, this could be a clown <laughs> with a red nose. <laughs> but they do all look very fruitish. Uh, that you've got in there as well, especially with the red ones. Uh, but then you've also got the pinks as well that's on there. Well, I absolutely love this. But already, how much has gone, Ross? Over half the stock here has now already gone nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. You're getting a metre um, <coughs> by one hundred and twelve centimetres each, so you're getting two metres of fabric there. Two metres of fabric for nine ninety-nine. So basically, a metre a metre of fabric for four ninety-nine. Yeah, that's a good old price that we're doing these at. Uh, Two zero five eight one six is your item number for this one. Uh, but it's very very busy. This could be our next sellout. I'm just saying, could be over half the stock has already gone here. Right then, up next we've got two different colourways. Now these have been really busy. Now hot pink, which is these ones. If I move these, this one is now limited stock. So your hot pink is now limited stock and your dusky is over 85% of the stock now has already gone. £12.99, pence. you're getting four 0.5 metres. As you can see, a hot pink is now green on screen. Your dusky is not far behind either. That's 80% of the stock. 546987 is your item number here. Now it's a cotton poplin which just means it's a light, it's a slightly lighter than a cotton, okay? It's got that sort of flow to it. Uh, it'd be nice as a nice little tablecloth. Uh, it would be nice as a... <laughs> that weren't Hayley, that was, that was the Skype lady again. They're getting their, they, they're getting their plugs in today, isn't they, old Skyper? Um, 12 pounds and 99 pence. Um, if I was you, get them while you can. What would that be? 24, 25, 26 pounds for both of them. For eight. Oh, hot pink has now sold out. Your hot pink has now sold out and your dusky is now limited stock. 
It's now limited stock is what we're looking at. We've gone green on screen. Oh, this could be the next one to go as well. Uh, what would that be? One, two, three sellouts so far. This could be our fourth sellout uh, that we've got as well. Um, get them while you can. Very, very busy for a fabric show on a Saturday morning. Uh, what's the time? 43 minutes past 10 o'clock in the morning on your Saturday. I hope you're well. I hope you're good. I hope you're, I hope you're sticking with us. I hope we're keeping you company as well throughout the day. It's, uh, it's lovely listening to your comments on the old social media. If you're not on social media, don't worry. You can send in letters. Oh, I've not had a good letter for years. I think I had one, one when I first started. I wouldn't know the address. I wouldn't be able to tell you where to send your letters to. But I'm sure you can find it on the interweb. No, I don't know. Um, Hachanda, just... To write a chandler on the front and see what happens to so give it to the postman. Um, but yeah, no, keep in touch. We love listening to you. Um, and also, if you are social media, we have a few questions asking if people are social media. Are, when we answer back, is it us? Yes, it is. It's normally me sitting at home. Well, the Dusky's gone as well. Dusky has gone as well. We're very, very busy across... Good catch, Matt. Uh, very busy across the board. Um, so do keep in contact with... We're all on uh, social media across the boards. So whatever social media platform you're on, uh, please do check us out. Um, and you can also keep in contact throughout the live hours as well. Studio at the uh, Your emails ping straight to our gallery at the moment. Our Ross is manning the desk, sitting there. Well sitting there, bob on in hand. He's got Jimmy next to him. He's a wrong gun. He's a wrong He's Our, our Jimmy, he's, he's controls the cameras. So when you see all these fancy shots, that's our Jim, moving the cameras left and right. Um, many hands on many buttons, he has. Um, but he, he sits there, he can do it all one hand. He's got a cream horn in the other hand. During the last hour, during the last hour, it was a fondant finger. I don't know. Are you with me next hour, Ro uh, Ross, Jimmy? Are we all together for one day special? Oh. Oh, I've got Katie and Andy for the next one. Well, I get about. Now, I've been through everyone this morning. Oh, I have. Uh, Jimmy, I've had you. Well, we won't talk about how many times we've had Jimmy. Now, uh, then the next material is very, very popular as well. Uh, very in at the moment is what we've already got. Now, you're getting all three pieces of fabric here. Uh, all three, they're a metre by 112 centimetres. You're getting all three. Once again, it's that 100% cotton fabric, uh, poplin fabric that we've already got. Uh, so it's the dusky, dusky dark florals is what we're looking at. Uh, absolutely love them. Uh, 389294 is your item number for these £16.99. Just save, it's half price because you're saving £16 as well on these. The, uh, the price is... We'll go back up by the usual price is thirty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, beautiful, beautiful fabrics that we've got on there as well. Uh, and last but no means least, uh, these are now not done that very well. Uh, and now limited stock. Your leaves are limited stock now as well. Uh, you're getting. If I hold them up, should I do my job? Uh, you're getting the green. You're getting that mustard, and you're getting the red as well. Um, this red one as well would look lovely at Christmas. Lovely at Christmas with, I can't remember that Christmas plant. No, the red one. No. Oh, it'll come to me. Um, the red plant that you get, poinsettia, that's the one. Well done, Ross. Uh, so poinsettia would look lovely, like a little bag for you around the pot of the poinsettia. would be absolutely beautiful in your red. Uh, something else you found on the website, though, you really have shopped ahead. Uh, very busy for this one. Uh, well, limit, wow, look at this already. Uh, you're getting all three pieces of fabric. Over half the stock has already gone here as well. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Run for a, you're getting a metre and uh, by 101 centimetres, um, and you're getting all three of them as well. We've been very, very busy on these. Treat these shows like a little stock up. If I was you, start stocking up on your crafty stash uh, while you've got them as well. For nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, you're saving twenty quid on these as well. Uh, 501598 is your item number. Right then, she's moved to a new part of the warehouse this time. It's like a little, it's like a little tour around where she is. Hayley, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Look, got, got a bit of printing going on now. Oh, look at it. I can hear you now as well, which is good. Yes, that always helps, doesn't it? Well, 
Uh, we, I have to say, <laughs> for legal reasons, uh, Hayley is live via Skype. Uh, we are using Skype for these as well. Um, so, Hayley, we, we, we've gone, we've, had, we've been very busy this hour already. You we've have? Had... I know, you've done an awful lot without me there. <laughs> well, I, well, you know, you've taught me everything I know, really, about the wonderful world of fabric. But we're talking about the limited edition ones that, that we've got on the show. Yeah. They are beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Yeah, they, they are really, really beautiful. And they're, they've got quite a good kind of blender quality to all of them. So you would absolutely be able to pick just one of those feature ones or pick and mix any of the ones out of there to make something really pretty. Sorry, I was mesmerised by the, by the machine behind you printing <laughs> fabrics. <laughs> Do I need to move again? I was literally just standing here watching the machine. <laughs> Well, this isn't a particularly exciting one. We were printing some extra mandala panels because we had a really busy show the other day. We've got all the orders out, but we thought we'd get ourselves ahead a little bit and print a few extra ones. You've oh. just missed I had a good one on before. I had I was doing the new version of the Fabazine. Oh. That was good. Yeah. Well, I think coming to a screen near you, Adam Fabric, I think this could work. You just want what your face yep. on fabric. Just 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 this. <laughs> It can be done. <laughs> it can be done. We could do it at Christmas. We'll put it in a little box. Um, no well, doubt. Whether anybody can want it. Well, no matter. doubt it'll come as a twin pack with Yanis. Now. <laughs> Are you bitter about this? No, you can get a little hanky of Derek as well. Now. <laughs> normal size fabric for Derek. Um, <laughs> well, I quite like having Derek as a presenter because he's, he's, you know, not that much bigger than me. It makes you feel tall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I digress. I chat about him far too much. I love the little man. Uh, so, very busy on the fabric. So, back to the fabrics that we have got in hand. All the fabrics that we've got here, as you just said, they will all work beautifully together. Yes. And on top so of it, you, uh, go on. You, if you have a look at each of the individual ones, like the first one that you've got there with all of those colours on, it's got quite a vintage feel to it. But then you can actually pick out lots of the individual colours. So, for example, on the grey one that you've got first, that one you can pick out those mustards, you can pick out those reds, so you can see that those other fabrics will work with it. It really, really will. Um, I was just grabbing the one that, that sort of this duck egg that I've got next to me. See, that would work as well. Yeah, there's some beautiful combinations that you can make there. I personally would use um, that one that you've got there in its own right because I think it's quite a it's a, a little bit of a, a louder pattern the others that you've got are far more kind of blender type fabrics so um this one I would use as a feature fabric and then I would go ahead and use some of the other ones more as kind of blender projects but because you've got that extra 10 centimeters in width I mean usually a quilting cotton which this is um, usually a quilted cotton is 44, it's 44 to 45 inches wide. So that's about 110 to 112 centimetres. This one, you can see, you're getting that extra width. And it's unusual to get quilting cotton in that extra width. It really is. It's a good width as well. Um, now, we asked you in the previous hour <laughs> as well. Uh, looking is, good there, Adam. Looking good. <laughs> is it easy to work with? Yeah, absolutely. Because it's a quilting cotton, when you cut it, it kind of holds its shape really nicely and it's really, really easy to stitch with. Quilting cotton has more of a matte finish to it. Sometimes uh, things like your lawns and your uh, poplins can sometimes almost have a shiny feel, a really kind of shiny feel to them. They, yeah. they aren't shiny fabrics. They are made with all the same kind of cotton fibres. It's just it's a different number of fibres per inch and a different uh, diameter of fibre that's used. It's, it feels it feels so luxurious. It feels because normally you can feel. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I got all excited. Um, you can you can feel <laughs> fabric, and um, you feel sometimes you as a presenter we stand here and we touch a lot of fabric. You sort of feel it. You give it a little stretch, and you're like. Yeah. yeah, this is this this would be lovely to work with. This feels quality. It feels like you could make garments of clothing out of it, cushions out of it, home yeah, interior. Absolutely. You can make cushions and things from it. it you can make absolutely anything, really. And um, it's all about just adding. Say, if you wanted to use it for curtains or a blind, you could just add um, a heavier weight backing or a heavier weight stabilizer to it, and then it would have the right weight to be something <laughs> uh, you know that was maybe needing a canvas weight fabric or a slightly heavier weight of fabric to to work properly in that project 
It is right, indeed. Adam. I am. I'm fine. Thank you. They took my mic out for me, but then, then I... Having uh, a little sneeze, a little cough. Having a little sneeze, a little cough. This place okay. is riddled. Now... Oh, oh you're all right. <laughs> you see, together, this is what I've missed, Hayley, my love. I've missed this. The chaos. What have you and... missed? Messing up? I Not paying attention? I've been so... Pro <laughs> I say professional, but, you know... Well, well sorry. Well, no. sometimes... No, I we can always we get it done, though, don't we? We get the job done. You this know, is true. Get it done. It this, may not be in the slickest fashion. This but is what we get it done. This is what all HR <laughs> meetings have said so far. He gets the job done, so we can't let him go just yet. So, <laughs> um, when? Why are you here? When are you next on? When are you next with us? Uh, tonight, actually, five o'clock. We've got some um, fantastic sewing machine feet tonight. Oh, so that's right interesting and exciting we had uh, the big bundle on the other day there's a few of those left not many so if you want them you will have to be quick uh, but we have got some fantastic rolled hem feet now a rolled hem foot does exactly what it says on the tin most of the hems that you'll find on anything is a rolled hem so that's where it's rolled over once so it's folded up once and then it's folded over again so that um raw edge is actually held on the inside of the fabric so it's held like that so that's what a, a rolled hem is now we've got some feet on that are uh, one quarter a half a three quarter and a full inch rolled hem foot and they're essentially metal curls attached to a machine foot where you feed the fabric through and it rolls the hem for you as you stitch uh, we've only got 30 seconds left you <laughs> go back to sleep now i'll see you shortly Bye. good night um... <laughs> That's where she lives. Uh, look, she's still there. Uh, she's live via Skype. <gasps> I'm like a magician. That's amazing. Uh, thank you, Hayley, my love. I know you can still hear me. Uh, thank you very much for calling in. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I'll speak to you after this hour as well. Check out your baskets. See you soon. So, coming up next, don't go anywhere. These are the next three hours. Join Janice up next. Then I will join you for another look at your one day special. Thank you to Hayley again. Oh, I miss her. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain.